Hey guys, this is guys. Hey guys, how are you going? Uh, welcome along to the stream. We're going to just jump straight in here. And uh, I thought I would do another YouTube... Oh, I was realizing. Um, my cam isn't on. Uh, let me get my face cam set up. That won't take too long. Uh, I'll tell you in the meantime anyway. Yeah, so my um, last YouTube stream did quite well. I got a lot of support from that. And so I did want to do another one just to try it out at a different time of day and see how that goes. And as like a little thank you for the people who said in the last stream that it's a little bit easier uh, when I'm doing it this time of day. Uh, so uh, that's what we're doing today. But I will be doing more stuff on Twitch and that in the future too. Uh, I'm trying to get the um, cam settings like something half decent now because I don't normally do it this like way around. I don't know, maybe like... What has happened to my cam? <laughs> just bear with me, I'll, I'll have this fixed real soon. Um, but yeah, so I figured, you know, it was a good good way of doing it just uh, to do another, like, YouTube one. So uh, we'll see how tonight goes. Um, but yes, if you are a fan of the, um, the ones I do on, like, Twitch, don't worry, I will be getting back to that pretty soon. Uh, this is just like an interim or like a little test thing in, in between. I'm trying to, like, I, it's not normally this difficult to set this up. Of course, like, one time I'm doing it live, it's more difficult. Uh, now, I've died quite a lot. Um, so I'm expecting today to be a little bit difficult. Is that right? I think cam wise that'll do, right? It's a little bit gray maybe. Mm hmm It's like a little bit weird. Could probably make it a little bit browner. What do you reckon guys? How are we doing? Uh, hey Rowolf, hey Karakan, hello that edit as well. Um, you know I'm just gonna have a little bit weird. Uh, hopefully you guys are cool with the cam being like this. Um, so, let me see, why am I so zoomed in? Oh, it's just near the portal. Yeah, so I made it to a swamp, guys. You can see how I've got a portal with a tag of swamp. Uh, and then, bad things happened. Bad things happened indeed. Uh, I died on the map here. Uh, let's see, here is our swamp, right? Over here. So yeah, I died here several times, and they've destroyed my portal, or the mobs that are in the swamp. They're pretty tough to deal with, those mobs. So now we're just gearing up to go back, and I figured we'd do it on cam. And you guys can bring me a bit of luck and uh, we'll see how we go. So this time around, I'm going for a much better shield. Um, we've got a much better block power and stuff on that. Uh, we're going to need some food for the journey. So let's see what food we can find here. And uh, I guess we'll just take whatever we can get. Let's not take all of it though, because I might. I, I think I'm going to die a few times. Uh, yeah, Rowolf, it's tough. Hey, I, um, I'm still pretty new to this game. And I'm still trying to figure certain things out. And I would say this definitely counts as one of those things that is going to take a little bit of time for me to get right. Um, oh, geez, what food have we got here? Oh, let's just take some mushrooms then. I, I don't really want to use the mushrooms up too much, but we'll just take a few with us just to try and get us through. So we've got some different food sources. Uh, it's not ideal. It'll have to do. Um, okay, so... Uh, oh, thanks, Robo, for the face cam's good, yeah. Uh, let's see. We need a better weapon, potentially. The other thing we're going to need is a boat. Uh, so we're gonna need one of these which means we're gonna start using more of our bronze and we need 10 deer hide Oh boy, so there's gonna be some prep work even getting there so far by the way I've wasted two boats Getting over there because of dying and stuff. So it's really quite annoying um, If I can get back over there and get all my stuff we will be good if I can not Then there could be quite the grind in terms of like having to gear up and stuff to get back to that stage uh, Oh, we have some more mushrooms in here. That's just useful to have um, but it looks like Storage wise or item wise, we might need to do a little bit of a trek. Swamp is brutal. It is brutal. It really is. It's really tough. Uh, okay, you know what? I want to make up a bow. Let's see what we need for that. Uh, let's see. I get just probably just a wooden bow or the, I guess, crude bow, I should say, for now, right? I mean, f or a fine wood, maybe. Maybe we'll go for the fine wood. So we need 10 fine wood. We need 10 core wood. We're going to need 12 deer hide so far. Do I have any fine or core wood, is the question. Uh, this is core wood, so we're good for that. We might need a bit of fine wood. We're also going to need fine wood to get... 
Oh boy. I'm just thinking, yeah, that's not good. We're going to need fine wood to make up our boat. We got three fine wood, four deer hide. Okay. So if I want to make a boat right now, 30 fine wood. So we're going to need 40 fine wood, which means we probably need to make a bronze axe, but we also need bronze nails. Oh my goodness. Okay. Today's going to be a bit of a grind, but I've started streaming a lot earlier than I normally would, partly for that reason. Um, because I just know that we're going to need to grind a lot of stuff out today. Is that all the bronze I have? Four bronze is definitely not enough. So let's start with getting some of this. So at least I do have some of this, right? So I've been prepping a little bit with this stuff. Um, so let's get as much of that in there as we can. And let's see. Oh, we need wood. I actually think we might just need normal wood. All right. Um, let's go get some... Oh, we have a bit of normal wood. Okay. Um... Just trying to think. I think we're going to have to put all this in, I think. While that's happening, we'll go get some other wood. Uh, let's see. To make up the bronze axe, we're going to need eight bronze. <sighs> okay. The grind begins, guys. Thank you, that edit. I did most of this stuff in the last episode, or last stream, I should say, that I did, uh, which was on YouTube. I mentioned before, but that stream went really well, so uh, that's why we kind of uh, decided to do uh, another stream uh, here on YouTube. Hmm. That's a pretty decent idea, Kraken. I think right now I just kind of want to try getting to the swamp without dying. Um, and then if we can do that and get our stuff back, then I'll look into trying to set up a better base there. And if we could do that this stream where we had some sort of base there with like a protected portal, I would consider that a very successful stream. Um, but... We'll see. This could be hours of work. This game is definitely a grind. Um, but I, I don't necessarily mind that, to be honest. I'm used to grinding out big Minecraft projects. So, uh, you know, Minecraft can be a grindy game when you're doing some of the big builds and things I've done in the past. So maybe I'm just a bit more used to it. But um, what do you guys think? You, I know some of you here are playing this game. Do you find it too grindy or uh, are you okay with it so far? Whew, yeah, so a lifted, lifted base sort of on stilts. Okay, I'm liking that idea. Um, having the bed as a respawn point makes all the difference. Yeah, for sure. So I wonder You would be ideal is if we could find Like is this You see how like around land you get these little things here So this has got to be land here So maybe on our boat trip if we could land here If we get lucky and that's a meadows or even wait that there that is meadows You know even just having like from where we are now if our respawn point was here, that'd be something however I'm just thinking, in order to do that, though, we'd still need a boat each time to get back. So whether that's going to work, potentially not. Actually, we could uh, activate our ability here. Um, yeah, really, that's that's probably not going to be much help. It would have to be swimming distance, and none of those islands are. The other issue as well is we could run into a sea monster. And I've been looking around online a lot today. And the best I've found with sea monsters is you need at least two people. One of them harpoons the sea monster, while the other one drives the boat towards land. You sort of beach the sea monster, you kill it easily on land. That's all very well, but do any of you guys have any tips on beating the sea monster solo? Um, I would love to, to know that. I'd also love to do a video about that, because I'm assuming a lot of people are going to want to know the answer to that. I mean, it's going to be quite an important part of the game, I'd imagine. Uh, let's see, we've got another 60 of that, so that's actually pretty good. We're going to head home with this. Um, I'm just going to try and get our first trip over to the swamp as soon as possible and, and hope for the best. We're just getting our stuff back. Um, we're going to need a bronze axe just to get the fine wood. So, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a thing, isn't it? Because, yeah. Okay. Very addictive. Sometimes I when you keep dying. Yeah, I think that's the... The keeping on dying bit has been frustrating for me today. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's get this put in here. I, uh, I think I'm at a bit of a hump in the game. You know, sometimes you get to that in a game, you just get to a little bit of a hump. And once I can get past that hump, I think it's going to be a, a lot better. Because the next thing we're going to be doing is getting ourselves some iron, right? Which will be awesome. Um, so yeah, I think once we get to that stage, we're good. Okay, so what do we really need here? We've got bronze, so it's really copper that we need. We've still got tin coming out of this thing at the minute. Um, the sooner I can make that up, the sooner we can go and chop down the trees that we need to chop down. This bronze shield, I'm hoping, is really going to help us out, but we'll see. It's um, it's going to be a tough, tough grind for sure. 
Uh, want to find tips to kill the sea serpent so I only saw somebody do it friends. Yeah, that's all I've seen so far too. So um, so this is the thing. If we, we could make all this up, make our boat and then go uh, into the ocean and still die. I mean, I'll show you guys the map, but it's uh, it's a fair trek. Like I come to about here each time, so I'm going the least distance possible, but it's still a fair distance to get there. And if a sea serpent comes, like when we're anywhere around here, we're not going to make it to the land on either side. And that is just going to be that. So, um, something I'm very, like, keenly thinking about all the time at the moment is, is that, is how we can destroy the sea monster solo. The best i found so far is simply shooting arrows at it. But I didn't kill it, I died. Um, I had no choice but to fight it, I was out in the open ocean. So I gave it a go because I had all my gear on me. So by the way, twice today I've lost all of my gear. So I lost all my gear, remade it all, lost it all again, so... I'm very sad. <laughs> I, uh, I could do with some luck here tonight in the stream to just get our stuff back. I don't know how long the monsters will stay around the area when you leave because so far they're there quite a lot. Like any time I've gone back, they've still been there, which has been really quite annoying. And I don't know what to do about it. So, yeah. Um, as I say, they destroyed my portal and stuff, so not good. The firewood bow in the crave boat to stop steering and shoot it. I did try that, um, and I'll try that again if we if we bump into it today. That's probably going to be our best bet, but it's just uh, I don't know. It wasn't really happening for me. All right, what we can do is um, let's just take some of this out here. I know I'm carrying too much, but I'm about to put it all in here. Oh, we can only put two in anyway. Oh well. And uh, let's go. We need to kill some more deer, so let's just try and do that a second. Try and be somewhat efficient. That can be smelting while we try and kill these deer, get those extra deer hide. Uh, obviously looking to get enough stuff to make up our bow and then on uh, our boat as well. But I think we do need the bow things to have a chance at retrieving our things and even just making it really to the uh, the area. So we'll see how we go. Um, like I say, there's just a bit of a hump right now. Once we get past this point, things will be much better. Um, from from my point of view, it doesn't make much difference, really, if I'm streaming on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. Um, I suppose one of the main differences would be that uh, on Twitch, I've got uh, these stream loots cards that people can buy and play. So there's a bit of interaction there. Um, wait, are you just, you're already scared of me, aren't you? There we go. Um, so, that, so that's different. Um, for my valheim streams i'm finding i'm getting better views through youtube so i'd rather do it you know that way i suppose um but but really that you know i'm doing the same thing it's just being put onto a different platform uh but it's not something i want to do really like long term unless i really can't get the views happening on my twitch because i would like to have the two different platforms that i'm working on you know as a content creator you never want to have your eggs all in one basket whether it's the game you play the platform you're on the audience that you attract, you know, whatever it is, it's always better to diversify a bit because if for whatever reason one of those stops working, then you can be in a bit of trouble. Um, sea sounds rough. I made my first bronze piece of gear. Looking forward to progressing. Yeah, definitely. The progression in this game is part of what makes it addictive, I would say, because you keep moving on to better gear and stuff. Um, and then if you're like me, you lose it all twice in one day and it's very sad it's very frustrating for me as well because i'm trying to make content and stuff like that obviously that really sets me back i do have a video that i put out tonight about 10 minutes ago um but i've been trying to do two a day i was only able to do one today though because i've just been grinding out all the stuff i've been losing but um you know that's uh it's not not terrible um there might be a spawn nearby, although I didn't see one. But we'll have a look together once we head back there in a minute. Um, if there is, I think I want to just destroy it. Normally, I wouldn't destroy a spawner. But I think for the sake of what we're trying to achieve here, getting our stuff back and just setting up a bit of an area on the swamp where we can, like, utilize that area in order to... Sorry, I just want to get this DS one star here as well. There we go. Right now, it's going to spook the others, but should give us some stuff, right? Four deer hide, wonderful. I think we needed 12 deer hide and now we have 11. There were some deer here, they've of course run off because we killed thingy. So yeah, so I'll probably just look to, to destroy that spawner if we do get the opportunity to, we'll, we'll have a look for that. Stay on YouTube, says Ghostina1. Um, 
you know, I'll always at least upload my Twitch streams to YouTube, so they'll definitely be watchable by people on YouTube. Um, but I want to keep trying Valheim out on Twitch and see what happens. You know, potentially as well, it gives me the opportunity to reach a new audience. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to do both at the same time, but Twitch doesn't allow you to do that, which is very annoying. Um, you know, I think I've said this before, but content creators, you know, it's, it's difficult making it as a content creator. I don't know why they uh, are trying to make it more difficult for us. You know, it shouldn't matter that much, especially like when you're not a Twitch like partner, like I'm a, just an affiliate right now. I don't know. There we go. Thank you for that, Crazy Dane. Uh, glad I could help. It's one of those items that um, the cart that a lot of people uh, are like that. I was like that myself. It was one of my inspirations for making the video. Is I felt like I didn't know it was in the game until a time when I would have rather have known a lot sooner. Because it would be pretty much, I would rush making this now. If I restarted this pack, I would definitely rush making the cart. Um, right, let's, let's see how much of this stuff we can make up here. Um, bronze, so we can make up one. We need eight. Um, we've got two right now, so we're going to have four by the end of this, I guess. Uh, and then, sort of halfway there, right? So what I need to do really is uh, load this one. Oh, I'm carrying too much. What am I carrying? Oh, this needs to go back in here, that's why. Uh, hello there, Salma. Wait, hold on, was that right? Uh, Salmia, is that right? Apologies if I'm getting your name wrong, but uh, hello. So I want to load all of this up here. Get all that happening. Uh, load this up as well. Only two coal in there. Could really do with some more coal. We need some more deer hide. We need some of the core wood. But we're still waiting on the having enough bronze for that. And then we're going to need even more bronze to make up the nails. So here's the next question. Are we going to have enough bronze? Um, we've got a bit of copper and tin. Yeah, I think we're just about to have enough. It's going to be close. Oh, well. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, hopefully Valheim's growing on Twitch. I'm sure it will, because the game is growing really big. They've had 2 million downloads now, which is awesome. And yes, the worlds are absolutely massive. I realized that today. Somebody, uh, I was watching them on a, a video. Somebody showed they, they'd explored like pretty much the whole world. And I was like, wow, okay. And it, there's some really cool things coming by the looks of things as well. I tried not to look too much because I didn't want any spoilers for certain things. But... um. Yeah, I can just see that there's like there's a lot going on in this game still that we've got to look forward to. Um, if you're like me and you're still quite new to it and, and learning things. Uh, so another thing I was going to do today was sort out my storage, but I didn't have time to do that. So, yes. Uh, how do you put the items in chest without dragging? Um, yeah, you need to control click Crazy Dane. So um, if I open up a chest here, if I control click, I can get things in and out. If I shift click, I can just select... Uh, a number, so like shift click right there and choose how many I want. So uh, that's how you do that. But yeah, just just a control click. Different woods give more or less coal when burned. I think you can only burn like wood wood. Let's try that out a second together. Uh, let's see. So I'll swap. This is core wood. I'll swap that round. Can I add that in? Oh, you can. Added core wood. Okay, interesting. Well, in that case, we can we can definitely test that out. I'll need to wait until it's all burnt, you know, to, to test it. But we'll try that out in a bit. Um, oh, we have enough bronze. Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay. Uh, what else are we going to need for this bronze axe? Um, four wood, two leather scraps. Okay. So, um, four of you. Okay, well, that's pretty good. We're getting there. Uh, now it's just a case of getting enough to make the nails up. And we'll be good. Uh, what was it? Two leather scraps, wasn't it? So, let's see. Uh, two of you. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, this is this is my third bronze axe of the day. <laughs> so if we do lose this as we travel, that's a fair bit of bronze to be wasting. Not going to lie. Like, it takes quite a long time to get that stuff, right? It's quite a grind. Oh, I'm really hoping we can do something on this go. Really hope I can just get to one of my graves and get some stuff back. i be very sad if we don't. All right, so now we need a bit of core wood. And we need a fair bit of that. Let's just... Um, while we're worrying about that, I want to load up... Wait, was that in... Okay, it's in my inventory, so I want to pick up all this. I want to load up all of that. Load up all of this. And uh, how much space do we have in here? Lots. Okay. So, um, let's just get out, like... It was like two, right? Let's load this up. Because uh, most of you guys know this, but when you sleep, 
Uh, this stuff will all smell instantly then you wake up in the morning to a good load of stuff so we definitely want to sleep right now just to speed up that process then in the morning as well we can go and get some of that fine wood that we need oh yeah that's true actually uh trenna you would you wouldn't want to do that by accident especially because if you end up with like loads of um because you end up with loads of normal wood and not as so much other graves are marked if i open the map right here um, you can see my your last death point is marked right here uh, Oops, uh, so yeah, that is it is marked like that um, There's actually about two or three death points all around here as you guys will see when we get back And once you get there, you'll see with graves as well, and you can pick up all your stuff You do unfortunately sometimes lose some skills each time. So that's a little bit frustrating um, Is there stuff in here waiting to be smelted still? Yeah, so we want to load you up Okay yeah, losing the bronze axe, like, like I say, it's been my third one, so it's a little bit annoying. Um, but there we go. All right, let's go grab all this cool wood. That's going to be the thing now. The good news is, with the axe and the shield, we've got... The axe is also a weapon, right? So we'll take the axe. We'll make up a bow as well. Uh, actually, I think this way's got more fine wood for me at the moment. Yeah, so we've got, like... We'll take a bow, we'll take this axe, and then uh, we'll be good. Um... Yeah, sure, Ghostina. I'll show you that when I get back. Um, I do also have a video tutorial on how to build campfires in your house. Um, I, I show you the sort of one cheat option if you're trying to do it just in order to sleep. And, um, you know, there's like a cheat way of doing that. And I also show you how to make a chimney. So on my YouTube channel, I've got tutorials on all kinds of Valheim things. But if you look for the one that's about um, how to sleep at night in, in that one there, or how to make a bed to sleep in, then good. But uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm heading back there, Ghostina. I'll show you when I get back. We're, we're only here until we get enough wood, uh, or enough fine wood, I should say, and then, then we're back. I'm going to get all this done as quickly as I possibly can, and then we're going to go back and try and uh, get our things. I'm just wondering as well, it might be worth me heading to spawn to get my Ikther ability uh, ready. And we can activate that when we get to the swamp, because um, it's not that far on the map. Like, we can run there and back in minutes. And then... Uh, at least then it will give us the, the stamina boost and stuff that we, uh, you know, could could come in handy, right? Could be the difference. Hey, Haley, Hello. How are you? Uh, thanks for coming on over here to uh, YouTube. I know you normally watch me on the Twitch, but uh, the last Valheim YouTube stream did so much better than my um, Twitch Valheim stream. I thought I'd try it out again. Um, but yeah, good to see you here as well. As to all of you, I know there's a few of you, Kraken, for example, and some others who are here who are also on my Twitch, so I appreciate you guys, you know, making the effort to go across the platforms like that. It's, uh, it's much appreciated, I can assure you. Alright, what are we on here? 18, so we only need 30. What do we need? 40. Is it 30 and then 10 for the bow, right? So we need 40. So we're almost halfway there. Oh, I'm just chopping down the structure by accident. Oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, that almost killed us. <laughs> down to two health. Let's have a raspberry. Thought we should eat something after that, right? <laughs> Honestly, I've died more in this game to trees than anything else. It is, uh, it's crazy. Rate Valheim 1 out of 10. For me at the moment, it's definitely a 10. No two ways about it. I'm playing so much, and I'm loving it. I, um, yeah, I'm on here, like, all day, just enjoying it, making tons of content. Um, the content as well is going really well for me, so that always makes the game, you know, high, more highly rated for me, right? I'm getting, uh, Got that extra benefit out of it. So yeah, I'm 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 loving it, man. I would I would definitely say a ten right now. Um I I, I haven't in a long time been this captivated by a game and uh you know this into a game, so definitely would uh would have to rate that pretty highly. And yes, Helly, I'm very good, thank you. Um had a had a tough day on Valheim, but you know, I'm I'm hanging in there. So there we go. Oh there you go, Trenna. You you got me uh you got me on YouTube today. Interesting that Twitch is blocked on YouTube. I guess there's a lot of like helpful things on on YouTube though for like even for like, if you're at work like tutorials and, on stuff, right? Maybe that's the theory. Whereas like YouTube's just uh, sorry, whereas Twitch is like just pretty much gamers gaming. Did I just see? Nope, I'm seeing things already. Yeah, honestly, it's like my perfect day is just having a game that I'm in love with, making loads of content on it. Um, often like doing all the grindy work off cam whilst watching something interesting on YouTube, um, you know, on my second monitor at the same time sort of thing. And 
yeah so that's that's been my day pretty much what about you Haley? what have you been up to yeah it's, it's really well priced this game i think you know it's 20 us is incredibly fair at the end of the day like you know game developers do have to invest a ton of money up front before they get anything back out of the game and also like a lot of people have asked for certain types of developments in the game and complained about certain things that will cost money too you know so I honestly think 20 bucks is, is really fair for this game and uh, I, I think this could be really big one day like it's big already for the time it's been out and stuff I reckon it could be huge <laughs> that's how I roll crack it alright those raspberries they're they're pretty good right they're a great food source <laughs> um Slash, I'm trying to save food because I keep dying with it all on me. Um, all right, let's see. We got a little bit too much carrying right here, so let's put some things away. So put on all that wood away is going to help us. And then we can pick up some of this and make up some more of. No, wait, wrong way. I need to bring this stuff out here. And do we have any bronze on us right now at all? No. All right, so we've got to make up these bronze nails. So five of them. We're going to need four for the nails. Um, the nails are for the boat, right? So I just want to double check this. So um, just because just it's better to be sure, right? So we, it's 80 nails. We've got the resin. We've got the deer hide. We've got the fine wood. All right, cool. Okay, so yeah, four of these. Oh boy, this hurts. I've used up like, what, four, eight, like 12 bronze bars today on nails because I keep dying with my boat. Not good. All right, let's see. Let's put all this back in here. Uh, I normally just have like 10 spare nails each time. Uh, so we need a bit more resin. Let's see, what else do we want to make? It was the, the fine wood bow, did we say, right? What are, what are we missing for a fine wood bow? 10 core wood. Okay, so that's, was that over here? Uh, is this core wood? No, okay, so that must be in here. Here we go. So we can put 40 of this back. Now, what arrows should I go for, guys? Bearing in mind I might die. What should I go for? Probably should go for fire arrows still. Maybe just make up like a hundred of them. Right, so we need resin, feathers, and wood for that. I mean, it's probably going to be the, the way to go. Um, so let's go grab a load of resin out and then come back. It's pretty awesome getting a new uh, computer set up, Hedy. It's pretty exciting. Um, send me some pics in uh, in DMs on, on Discord. I'd like to see it, if you don't mind. Um, oh, now they broke my portal... So I might not be able to make another portal. So yeah, I need to take the stuff with me to make a portal as well. Which I know is two of these. It's ten of these. Uh, oh, we need to take some wood with us as well. Um, what am I missing for the portal? Let's have a look. Um, Twenty fine wood. Oh, dang. Okay, we'll have to go get some more fine wood in a sec. And we also want a load of resin, which we've got. And what about feathers? Do we have? I'm sure we've got feathers here somewhere. Um, there we go. See what we can do here. Oh, really, Kraken? Maybe I just go for wood and arrows then. Thank I'm so glad you told me that, by the way. Um, actually, we'll keep the resin on the screen for other things. But we can put this back. Yeah, maybe just wooden arrows. I don't know. Oh, maybe we we'll get some flint. Let's do flint arrows. I just thought, I don't want to waste anything too like useful, basically. We'll make up a few flint and maybe a few wooden as well and just, I don't know, see how we go. I'm pretty nervous about this trip. I just, I really don't want to die in the ocean. That would be the worst uh, of the lot. Uh, flint head arrows. What are we missing? Oh, they need feathers too, do they? Okay. Live and learn. Thanks, Hedy. I'll check that out uh, either after I'm done streaming or tomorrow, depending on how sleepy I am after the, uh, the stream. <laughs> Depends what time I finish. So, um, actually, question for everyone in stream right now. So, you know, I, I um, right now I'm just doing what I'd call general gameplay, right? Just getting through this process of, okay, I've lost all my stuff. I'm going to go and try and get it back and all the rest of it. Um, in terms of, like, stream content, would you rather see goal-oriented stuff? Like, okay, I'm trying to take on a boss right now. Maybe some more exciting, interesting stuff. Or are you actually, like, interested in seeing this general gameplay stuff? And, you know, like, would you rather I just didn't stream this? Or, like, no, go ahead, stream it anyway. And, you know, I'd just be interested to know what you guys what you guys think about that. Um, okay, we've got our bow and arrows. We've got our food. I believe we've got everything to make this. Oh, no, we need more core wood for the portal, right? So we need um, 20 in total for that. So while we're here, just repair things. 
um, just because we can for free. And then we're going to get that call word. But yeah, like, it's always just good to get feedback from you guys, um, you know, on, on that type of thing. So let me know about that. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Uh, you wanted to like CP, but you couldn't finish it. So frustrating. Oh, uh, this game potential set so steep for me. Yes, I agree with that. It's definitely very good. Um, and uh, I think you know they're going to keep developing it for a while and stuff. So I think that's pretty good. Oh, really, Steve? Thanks for that. Glad you think so. Um, yeah, I guess I guess you know I can see the. Um, you know, watching the general gameplay and stuff, you, you potentially will pick some things up, or I don't know. Me personally, sometimes I think it's just nice to um, watch a stream that's a bit more chilled, a bit more sort of hangouty, and just you know go through playing the game together and get some stream interaction for like suggestions on what we're going to do and how we're going to do things and that kind of thing. Um, but you know, it's just it's just good practice for me to ask you guys and see what you think and all that sort of thing, um, and make sure that I'm hopefully you know doing the best I can. Um, you know, I mentioned this a lot, but it, I, I am someone who's looking to try and get to going full time with this. Um, I gotta say, I've been doing YouTube for four years. Um, at about about four years and one month, I've been doing YouTube, and the last seven days have just been the absolute best ever for me. So I'm I'm on a real high with YouTube at the moment. Everything's going really really well, so it's been really fun to do. And uh, you know, I, I like the streams as well because I'm just playing a game I really enjoy and I can kind of chill with you guys and stuff. So, um, you know, I appreciate the feedback and I'm glad it's, uh, you know, you guys are, are like enjoying it as well, obviously. Um, and then we can, yeah, do a lot more of this, right? <laughs> well, if you haven't explored a swamp yet, um, you're definitely about to see how difficult it is. And I seriously recommend that you gear up heavily. My biggest mistake with Swamp, if I could go back and do it again, is I would gear up so much better the first time I went. And the only thing is you're risking if you die to a sea serpent. I tried to go light and I just had a portal and some wood to try and set up a base there with a portal so that if I died, I wasn't losing too much to the sea serpent. But I don't know. In retrospect, I wish I'd just set myself up properly, I guess. Um, thank you, Coach Bouquet. Appreciate that. Um, and thank you to everybody, actually, for you're all being very supportive and stuff. So I really appreciate that. Um, what was I doing? So, I, all right, I've got enough now to uh, to make a portal, right? So we've got all those materials on us now that we have that fine wood. So the portal stuff is there. Um, that can go back. For the boat, we need that. Wait, what was the boat again? Because I'm thinking 30 fine wood. What did I do with it all then? It must be somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, actually, we don't... I don't know. This is silly, but... It just, you know, that's what we need. Because um, we've got basically 20 for one and 30 for the other, right? Okay, so I want to take some of this with us as well. Um, let's see, what else was the boat? Um, 20 resin, 10 deer hide. I think we have that. So, uh, yeah, 20 of this, 10 deer hide. We've got nine. Oh, maybe I need to get one more deer hide then. Um, actually, while I'm here, we get. Oh, am I, am I carrying too much right now? I'm encumbered. Okay. What, uh, what should we get rid of here? Um... <laughs> Actually, we, we need a lot of this stuff, so that's a bit worrying. I guess we can get rid of, like, bits of this stuff right now, like that. And I want to take a lot of the wood. Oh, coal. There we go. Get rid of that. Um, let's go to the cart here. What else can I get rid of? Something's... If we get rid of, like, a few of these. Is that enough? Yeah, just. Okay. Whew. Uh, okay, so... Deer hide. No more deer hide. Oh, we got this food. We should take this instead of the raspberries, I guess. It would give us better buffs. And... Oh, we got feathers in here. It's good to know. Put them back for another time. Put that in there for another time. Alright, we need one deer hide, unfortunately. So let's go and try and do that. Let's see if we can find a little deer. How did I use up one deer hide? I must have used it on something else or something. Or I was just one short and forgot. Sometimes that happens. Hey, army! Did you see me yet? I think we're good. Oh, dang. All right, he saw me, but I think this one didn't. Uh, yeah, YouTube. Uh, YouTube's just doing well for me, Omi, in terms of the streams for Valheim. No! So unfortunate, you ran out of stamina. Oh, so I couldn't get the deer. One thing we can do, though, is... Where did the other one go? 
Any chance you ran into the water down here? Right, sometimes you get like stuck in the water. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, YouTube's just doing better for me in terms of the views and stuff. I know, yeah. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to be going back to Twitch as well soon. Probably my next Valheim stream will be on Twitch. So, yeah. Um, so, if you're on YouTube right now and you're thinking, oh, I want to see the next stream, uh, you yeah, know, you can go follow me on Twitch. Just saying. <laughs> so that's an option, right? Uh, anyway, we got some stuff there. All right. I really hope we make this first time, because if we don't, we've got to grind getting all of our gear again to go again. And in particular, we have to grind getting a load of copper again, which is just like, it's just pretty gross. Especially like after three times today, a fourth time will just be a little bit like pushing it to the limit. Might might see my uh, first ever rage quit while streaming. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not sure how to do it. If you let me know how to do it, I'll, I'll try and do it now, a minute or something. Um, I think some people might be mods, like, from back in the day when I used to stream on here. Like, I don't know, Haley, you might be a mod. Um, yeah, all right, let me let me think. What else do I need? So, I've got my sword, my shield, I've got my food. That's for the portal, that's for the boat. Uh, this here is to make a workbench when we get there to make stuff. Is that, is that a good plan? Let me think about this a little bit. We can't really take any more wood on us, although we get rid of this tin, we could take a bit more. I'm just thinking that I'm, I really want to try to sort of close it in when we get there. Um, oh, um, let's just swap you around for a second and put you like in there or something. Yeah, I was thinking when we get there, we could try and use up some of our wood to actually like make up some stuff. Um, that's frustrating. I guess we'll try it. We'll make up what we can when we get there. All right. Let's do this. Let's repair stuff. And then yeah, the final thing I need to do is just leave behind anything I don't need. So if I do die on this trip, which is possible, guys, it won't be as bad. All right, let's see. Can we... Oh, if I wear this, does it still count as, like, the weight of it? That's an interesting thought, actually. Um, so 309 right now. If I put you on, am I still on 309? Um, yes, I am. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to get rid of it. Armor doesn't really do that much compared to what a shield does, so... We just don't really we want to prioritize the shield um okay stuff we don't need our stone axe we don't need to take that with us we've got the bronze axe here um so i want to get this sorted in the way i used to have it as well so it's gonna be like this i just like a certain order for stuff up here and then food up in there okay all right guys let's do it wish me luck um actually the, we want to sleep as well don't we if i sleep then i'll be traveling more during the day so let's see if we can get a little bit of kit before we go. Here we go. No worries, on me. Should be good. Thank you. Wait a second, Kraken. I'm going to sound super newbie here, but the boat has storage. I didn't know this. So I can put stuff in the boat storage. You have to show me how to do that. Okay, we're equipped. And we're off. So funny because I could just keep thinking like, oh, if I could go back now to like a week ago, knowing what I know now, how different would my world be? How different would I do things? Like, quite a lot would change, I would say. But that being said, I I just love being new to a game and and not knowing a lot of the stuff and figuring it all out. Even the mistakes, like, you know, say yeah, it's been annoying dying like three times, whatever it was. But um, yeah, you know. All right, I mean, thank you. I'll um, I'll take a look at that. I didn't know it had a blooming chest in the boat. Um, am I safe here right now? All right, if I hang on, I need to make a note. Sorry guys, but this needs to be written down because I got a video coming soon that that is going to be a really useful tip for Kraken. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> you will see that tip in an upcoming video, uh, I'm sure. There's a couple that come to mind that that was probably going to be useful for. Alrighty, thank you. Uh, thanks for that, Omi. Uh, sorry, Haley, um, and Omi, and anyone else uh, who is staff. I don't. Th I think Omi might be the only one here at the moment. And Haley, you can be if you want. But just let me know, and I'll add you so you guys can mod. Found a mushroom. I'll take that with me because they don't take up to mushroom. But um, dum Sorry, guys. Dad jokes in Valheim. It's totally a thing. 
I probably should. Yeah, I, I'm so busy playing. Um, I have been watching videos, but um, I'm sort of I'm always at least playing at the same time. My attention's a little bit diverted. Also, I don't know. I do like finding things out. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right. Okay. Here's the workbench. So you see, I've marked on the map with a little thing here. We've got a workbench here. So the point of that is that we can make up the boat without needing to take stuff for a workbench. And I want this to be more that way. And here we. Oh, hey, dude. I'm going to fight him before I uh, take off. Oh, where did he go? Hey. Come on, man. Let's fight. Okay. So we can just uh, swim around here. Get up on the boat. Oh, look at that. It does have storage. Only a little bit, but it has storage. Someone said to me as well, I think you can get a... Um, uh, a cart onto these these boats as well particularly the bigger ones but apparently even for this size you can still do it so yeah all right let's have a look so we want to stay i can stay close to the land for the first bit of well ish but then we, we just pretty much just need to head off and this is not the best sailing conditions because it's difficult to see we've got this fog we've got this sun um <laughs> love it love it tom brown loving that one you know what sea monsters eat for lunch Fish and ships, but I'm dumb. Oh yeah, the bad jokes room. We got we got a long journey here, so lots of bad jokes coming. Okay, um, the wind's against us right now, right? So isn't it better to just paddle? Is that right? I'm still trying to figure out the sailing thing. I can't tell very well if this is faster than this when the wind is like that, like up there against us. I feel I feel like it is faster to just do that. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. So we want to head a bit more this way anyway. Well, at least paddle, dude. So right now, if we see a sea monster, we're just going to head back to land. Once we get past the point of no return, we're just going to cry. Uh, Haley, you don't have that uh, emojis on here as well. That's the other thing about Twitch. You guys get the emojis on there, right? So... I don't know. All right, here we go. Now the wind's with us. Let's do this. All right, this is where we need the luck. We need to get a bit across this ocean without a sea serpent coming for us. Um, and I feel like I'm due one. I don't want to jinx myself or whatever. First time I went across in the ocean, one got me and killed me. I had about three subsequent trips that were successful. So now I feel like we might just be due one. This would suck though, because all of this stuff on us lost. At this stage, after dying so many times, would be awful. Yeah, that's what I thought, Hell. Um, like, that, just from playing and stuff today, I figured that was it. But, again, I couldn't find a decent um, guide on using the boat. So, I'm going to make one of those as well, once I've figured it out a little bit better myself. Um, I'd like to make a video on that. If I'm ever struggling with something and I can't find a great video on it, then I'll try and make one myself, because, like... I figure, you know, if I have an issue, chance us, other people do. All right, so there's a Kraken over here. Um, that is Kraken, right? Yeah. They're not dangerous until they start sinking, but if a Sea Serpent were to come right now, it would definitely be preferable for us to be stood on that Kraken, I would say, and just hope it doesn't sink and hope the Serpent goes away without sinking our boat. Might be wishful thinking, but I don't know. I just don't know what to do if a Serpent comes. I, I guess just head for land, but like... It's just proper scary. I also don't know if, like, the serpent's range of seeing us. Like, if we see a serpent, can we even just, like, avoid it? I guess it depends how close it is. But, like, if I saw one yonder and just headed in the opposite direction to it, would we be okay? So many unanswered questions. There should be a compass in this game. Possibly. What would you use the compass for, though, specifically? What is it you're thinking that would be um, good to have a compass for? I mean, the map's pretty good. Um, but let's see how we go. Alright, so when we get there, this is the thing, when we get there, I don't know what to do. It's, it's largely going to depend on if the mobs are still around. I'm sort of assuming they're still going to be around. The area because they did destroy our portal unfortunately um but yeah i'm not sure um how we're gonna go about getting our stuff back and setting up a bit of a camp on the swamp uh, it's pretty treacherous but 
got to be done. We've got to conquer it somehow. We've got to figure it out. So we can get iron. We do have stuff on us to make a portal. If we could just make ourselves a nice safe portal here. <coughs> I will be one very happy man, I can tell you. Alright, we need to go this way a bit more. And there is the swamp coming into view now. And you see we're heading right for our death point. And I'm just... There's these little tiny sort of islands. Right, wind's against us. Drop it down to paddling. These tiny little islands over here that I'm just wondering... Sort of in the... If I do that, they're in the top left of the screen right now. If you guys can see that. Whether we could set up a portal and a base on them, it'd be a bit safer. And then we could swim back ashore each time. Even if we die several times, we might still be able to get our things. Alright. So our death point's over here. In fact, I remember this area. It's actually kind of scary. <laughs> like, after you've done this one a few times and you know what's there waiting for you as well. Uh, it's... Yeah. It's, it's Hey, look, there's our other two boats. You guys see them? They're coming up. I told you I uh, this is my third boat trip. Can we destroy boats and get materials back? Because if not, <laughs> it's just going to be like a boat graveyard over here. <sighs> okay. You guys might be thinking it looks quiet over here, but you can't really tell until you get closer, so... Is that leeches just over there? Or it's just some fish that have washed up on sh shore? Alright, come on, man. Please, please, let me just... Just give me a little break here. Let me get lucky. It's so scary. Alrighty. So there's our death point. Right now, not seeing... Oh, no. Oh, did they just destroy our death point? Oh no, they were destroying our portal, I think. Ah, uh, they're, now they're destroying my boat. Okay, so what I think I want to do is try... Hold on a sec. That's not a sea serpent, it's a leech. Right, what I want to try and do is just hover here a minute. Um, and... I'm just going to shoot them, although they've like gone now. Alright, let's just turn around a little bit. Oh, wow, he's right there. Oh, no, this isn't good. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have to be somewhat brave. Um, oh, gee. Oh, wow. Okay, I am probably going to die. Th that's such a hard shot. He's got, like, a, a bow there or something. Okay, you know what? Plan B, guys. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, can I even get in here? Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so bad at this game. I really don't know how to fight these guys. It's like a whole other boat trip as well. You say go back and make a bed first. I could do. Let's try and set my spawn there. Does the bed need to be like under shelter like this for you to set it as a spawn point? Hmm. We're just losing so much uh, stuff over there as well. Hmm. So maybe next time what we should do, make the boat and just travel around. Like there might be like a bit of place there where we can make a bed and stuff. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. Mm hmm It's pretty nasty. But I don't think we're going to have a lot of choice. Yeah, there's so many of them there, and they've got, like, the bows and stuff, so it's just so hard to um, to fight them. Um, all right, what am I going to do? Let's see. I've got not much copper or tin. Haha. Uh -huh. So in here I've got a little bit of copper and tin. So we can start this uh, off, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Um, just kind of sucks at this point. Hmm. A bow and a stag hammer, you reckon? Potentially. We, I feel like I'm basically back to the start here now with like starting resources and stuff. Uh, Alright, so we've got a bit of wood there. And... Wait, was that? Hmm. One bronze, okay. Um, 
See, this has been my day, just like remaking all my stuff. Going back there, dying, <laughs> remaking all my stuff. It's a sad time. So... I'm gonna potentially have to do some mining. Do I have any wood in here? So I'll just kind of try and see. I could take the stuff as well to make the um, the portal and try and make it... Like, for example, I don't actually need to make a bed up there. All I need to do is make a portal. Like, if I make a portal like on here, for example... That's actually... No, it's probably still too far away. I need it to be somewhere I can actually get to. Maybe I'll set around and see if the swamp turns into a meadows or something like that. Maybe to make it there. Could start a new seed. I don't know. I kind of want to continue on with this world. I just want to crack this little particular bit with uh with getting this stuff here sorted so oh we're gonna need i should have made more uh got more fine wood because we're gonna need it i'm just realizing to make another boat to go back there again which means we're gonna need the bronze so yeah that's that's gonna be a thing um we're also just gonna need some normal wood so i'll go chop that down for a second yeah so those Oh, that's okay, that one's broken. Uh, I didn't mean to run through that ball. Yeah, solo yeah, is pretty tough at times. Um, you've got a lot of these sorts of challenges. Like, yeah, if there was two or three of you there fighting those guys, it would certainly be a lot easier. And only one of you would need to be able to make, like, a portal set up there or a bed or whatever, you know, whichever way you were going with it. But, yeah, when you're doing it on your own, it's pretty tough. I think what that's kind of showed me, though, is that the gear I have isn't really making a difference at this point. Um, which is a bit worrying, because I'm like, how am I supposed to actually, like, explore, oh my god, explore the swamp, oh, there's one of these, and, uh, you know, get the iron and all that sort of stuff, without that good gear. I feel like if I had full copper, it wouldn't make much difference, I'd still be dying quite a lot. Um, hmm. Could try and kill some more trolls, get some troll armor and stuff, but I mean, it didn't really help me the first time around, so I don't know why. I think that would. Can eat while sailing. Yeah, I should probably have eaten more food. That probably would have helped. Man, I've got so much stuff up there. If I can get a portal set up there and get all my stuff back, there is so much stuff up there waiting for me. Uh, I'm just soloing at the moment, yeah. Um, I think uh, in terms of like servers and stuff, I would look to potentially do one if there was um, like a when the next big Valheim update comes out or if I was looking to restart my series or something like that then uh, I would potentially let's do a server at that point but obviously the game is still quite new and stuff so I'm happy soloing for now it's just uh, it's good for like learning the game and stuff as well I just need to figure out a new approach to uh, tackling this swamp and I'm trying to think of like what the best thing to do is and I think finding someone nearby might be a good approach to just try and then I can keep running in, I guess, and, and see what happens. Other than that, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, Charles, that's pretty much what my, my new approach is going to be this time around. See, I was always thinking, like, you know, you've got, like, your one central base area, and you just kind of go off from there, but perhaps a better approach, particularly if you're soloing like this, is to do a bit more of a nomadic experience. I don't know. I still like the idea of having, like, a main base, but maybe we can... Yeah. Um, so you reckon armor could be the way to go? Okay. Um, oh, good. We got all this stuff. And there's nothing in there. Is this... Yeah. So we're going to need some more charcoal. So let's just get a load of that going on. Or coal, I suppose we should say. Um, take it we don't have any in here or over here, right? Noob. Um, but we do have... Actually, yeah. If we just get one more tin... Um, We've got five more bronze bars. I'm up six. We need eight to get the core wood. Um, should I take stuff to make a portal? I think so, actually. I'm not going to worry about the fine wood bow and stuff this time, though. It's just not, not going to do it for us. Um, yeah, I reckon we just try and get our stuff back that we just lost and try and get that portal set up nearby. If I have a portal set up nearby, connect it to my home here, we'll be fine. Um, don't necessarily need the bed there. And then once we can keep portaling back, then we can try and maybe get like a, a base, like a swamp base set up at some point. Or like near the swamp zone. 
Yeah, it's an interesting one, Trenner, actually, because they've sort of... Like, they've put portals in the game. Um, so they're happy for you to personally, you know, teleport around the map and whatever. But they don't want you to be able to take materials with you, or certain materials with you. So it's like they still do want you to have a certain amount of... Um, you know, like having to travel via boat and stuff, which is an interesting choice. I don't know. I, I kind of get it, I guess. I, you know, I see what they're trying to do, having that sort of realism and whatever, but it is a weird one. It is a bit annoying. Um, okay, so to make up the bronze axe in a second, what else are we going to need? Two leather scraps and four wood. So I assume we got the wood on us, so let's go get the two leather scraps as well. Um... On here, hell, I don't think so. Like, obviously, if you want to, um, you know, like and subscribe and stuff, that's obviously a way you can support me, which is really appreciated. Um, I have a Patreon as well, which you get some rewards for. You might want to check that out. Um, and on Twitch, I have some other ways that you can support me um, through, like, the loots and things, which I'll explain next time I'm, I'm streaming. But... Yeah, on, on YouTube when I'm live, I think Super Chat's just kind of the way that, that YouTube does it. Like I say, I don't normally stream on YouTube, so I haven't really set much up for it and stuff like that. But, yeah. Alright, let's get... Uh, what am I missing here? Um, oh, I put it in the wrong... Yeah, that, that's not going to do it. Alright, five more bronze. That's exciting. Something that wasn't so far away. Yeah... No, I understand the complaint. I do. Um, like I say, it is a bit of a weird choice. Um, so that's going to give us one more of that. Oh, are we out of copper? Oh boy. We might need to do a mining trip, guys. I think I'm going to have to do some mining. Um, we've got a bit of tin, but we don't have any copper. Hmm. You have a second world called Chess World because it's such a pain, Trenna. Um, oh, for the transport. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, it's an interesting idea, actually, have have that second world for, like, resources. Not a terrible way to do it, actually, yeah. So we're going to have seven. We need eight. Story of my day. Um, let's see, what else am I going to need bronze for? The nails, right? So um, to make these nails, let's just check out the recipes here. So one per one, so we need another four for that as well. So we're going to need, like, another ten copper ore or something. So... I, the good news is we don't need to take a cart. We can just run and do it. The bad news is, like, you know, whatever. Um, oh, that's alright, Hell Games. Like, that's alright. There's no, like... You're all good just for uh, just for hanging out here. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the sentiment as well. Thank you anyway. Um, I swear I didn't take my pickaxe on the trip. If I did, I'm an idiot. I thought I'd kept my uh, my pickaxe here. Um, <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's just see how we can. What we need. I just want to double check this. I cannot believe I actually took it. That's pretty silly. All right, let me check something out here. Um, antler pickaxe. Just one antler for that and ten wood. I guess we're making up another one of those. Um, never mind. Yeah, it is, it is a weird one, that whole not being able to teleport with oars. I don't know. Again, maybe the game, you know, it's certain parts it's like maybe they're trying to push you to not just having one central base. I don't know. Um, but certainly one of the biggest grinds in the game is just getting around. Um, which is, you know, a little bit strange that they would make that so difficult. Um, Alright, we need to go get some copper, so... I'll get like maybe about 20 or something. See how we go. Um you can you can only link one portal to one other portal, I believe, so you would have to have um so you need like so like for example a portal, let's say I had a portal here and a portal here, I could link them. But every time I go in there, I'm going to come out there and vice versa. So you can't link it to there and also to over here. But you could have like a central portal room that you put all them all in. Which is what I sort of was working on. Or want to start working on at least. But yeah. 
Uh, we'll take this. We need food at the moment, just in general, so. Any, any food's actually kind of useful. So I'm just heading off to a black forest where I'm pretty sure there's still some, um, what do you call it? Some copper. Good seed for a swamp and a metal farm. Uh -huh. how, how do you farm uh, metal then, hell? I've not got to that sort of stage just yet. As you can see, because I'm running off naked looking for copper. <laughs> still uh, still a way to go for, uh, for farming metal and even just getting iron. But the night is young, you know. By the end of it, we could... Uh, oh, if we could just crack the swamp thing tonight, that'd be great. If we can't, that means tomorrow's just going to be a huge grindy day for me. Because <laughs> I'm just going to have to grind and get in tons of really good gear and trying it differently. Um, but we're going to take our fourth boat over there soon. <laughs> fourth time lucky, guys, for sure. Oh, Flo, that is one heck of an interesting idea actually you sir might be a genius that actually sounds like it could work oh my god we we need to try this if that is the case then oh man i wish i knew that before i made my portals video now um but i'll have to include that in like a future video if that works that'd be amazing oh uh, yeah, trying to go for it, just as long as it's nothing inappropriate, please, but I'm sure you're fine. Obviously, I'm just going to say that because other people are listening, but yeah. Uh, you just watched that video an hour ago. What video is that? Oh, was it a video that had that seed in, was it? Alright, so let's see where we're going here. I think um, that one that says copper might be exhausted, but I'm sure there is some nearby, if not. And, uh, oh, here we go. Found a new one. Let's mine away. Mining with an antler pick for copper on day 120. <laughs> oh well. I can say, once we get past this a little bit, I'm sure the game's gonna become a bit easier. And iron would be awesome to have, and loads of new things, and there's a troll there. Of course there's a troll here. And I don't have a bow. Okay, well, um, I guess we're just going to run away from him, as soon as we don't have the bow. Hmm, that's annoying. It's like, does this really have to happen when I'm just trying to get some copper because I keep dying? Seems unfair. I've had an unlucky day. I think we can outrun him though, like, and lose him, right? Oh, boar, okay. Um, wait, let me get this axe, this will be better. I think the troll's actually already gone. Um, but we'll just head down into here. Hmm. Um, and then like through this way. Get back to the black forest. See if we can get some of the, uh, the copper without being around the troll. Like obviously, normally I'd have a bow and stuff. I'm just trying to avoid the um, troll this time around because we're just trying to quickly get some iron together. Not iron, copper. Where the heck's my black forest? Though? Is it? I didn't realize I'd come this far away from it. But uh, but you know, clearly I did. All right. Um, all right. This isn't copper. It just looks like it because the game likes to troll. Um, yeah, I could eat some better food. I think next time around, I'm not too worried about the food because I'm just like, I just need to set up a little base there with a portal that I can come back to. And then I'll worry about like gearing up fully to try and actually take on the swamp a bit better. Um, that would be a big, like if we if we can just get to a stage where we've got a base there we can return to with like a portal and stuff, then that's definitely a huge plus. Once we get to that stage, then as far as taking on the swamp goes, uh, well, actually, if I get some of my stuff back from those graves, that'd be awesome. But I don't know if the graves get destroyed and I might have just simply lost all my things. If that's the case, then I'll be quite sad. But it's not a whole lot I can do about that, I guess. I'll just have to grind it all out again. Um, you know, I'm learning plenty of things, I guess, about the game for 
for next time around. Um, we'll see how that goes with like updates and stuff like that. I want to have a little read up on all of that stuff tomorrow. See what updates are planned. Uh, I've had a brief look at the roadmap for the game. It certainly looks interesting. Um, I know the game is doing really well as well. It's now had 2 million downloads. So I assume they are going to be working on you know developing the game and stuff at a reasonable rate. And probably coming up with some new ideas and things for it. But I don't think there's any like dates at the moment they have for like future releases or anything like that. Uh, yes, hell, I did kill the Elder, yeah. Um, actually, that was a video I made today, was was a tutorial on ways you can fight the Elder. Because um, there's like a couple different ways you can do that. There's like a cheat way, um, if you just want to like cheese it. And then there's like the legit way, which actually isn't like that difficult. You can fight it legit without too many problems, to be fair. Um, but yeah, oh, sure we got some copper out of that. Uh, 14, I want to be on about 20, I think. Oh, there's some in here, was there? Uh, it was just stones, I guess. Yeah, I think about 20 is going to be good, so we'll check that out. Um, to get us enough bronze, to get us back to sailing. Uh, hello, AJ Sky. How are you going today? So, uh, probably the next sailing trip's the one where the um, the monster's going to come get us. And then I really will rage quit, and that'll be the stream for the night. Uh, Killer says, I just died in the swamp. Uh, I had to go back with another boat, but died again. And your boat's got destroyed in the process. Yeah, I've got... I had three boats over there. I think they might have destroyed one, but there's two there now at least, I think. Unless they've destroyed them as well. Um, and so we're going to be heading back with our fourth boat in a second. Swamps are tough. And I want to try and put some thought into it and maybe, uh, you know, figure out a good way of doing this. So I can say, like, exactly what Rowolf just said there. Um, oh, I know we're out of... Okay, so this is all stone, right? Dang, we only got 14 of that. Um, what are you doing? Oh, um, okay, so what I want you to do is... Let's see. Just get rid of you for a second. Was it, is that it for the copper? 14? I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, boy. Um, well, we can get more now that we've chucked all that stone out, actually. Oh, no, we can't. Our pickaxe is broken. Um... Do I not have a hammer on me? Right, this is getting silly. So, let's pick up the stone. Craft the hammer. <laughs> oh, this game's madness. Alright, then get rid of all the stone. Then using the hammer, can we just about craft up workbench? Well, I thought I had wood on me. Oh, because I just used it to craft hammer. Okay, so now we have to, like, chop this tree down. Oh, there's already a log over here, actually, so we can at least do that. So dumb. Uh, lost all my bronze gear. Um, I'm not sure, actually, Killer. I don't know if the mobs can, like, destroy it or not. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, wait, don't I have a base around here somewhere? I think near that portal I have a base. I'm going to run up to there and just see. I think I've got a workbench under cover there. Yeah, so I don't know if the, the grave sites can be destroyed or not um i guess we'll find out someone said in one of my comments as well but i haven't tested this yet that you can only have three graves stored or something like that so if you die on like the third time or the fourth time or something like that then you lose your first grave oh we've got a workbench well this is actually still a help though um because now we just need to make it um undercover to repair so let's do a bit of that yeah so i i uh, i'm not sure how all that works just yet but um i'll be kind of finding out soon i hope if i can get to the back to the swamp and actually like not die and see if my things are still there or not all right so super ugly but we don't care we just want this to work um i guess that'll do it and then oh um right that's gonna is that gonna work this is hilarious if this works. <laughs> if I stations too exposed, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's try this again. Um, let's get rid of this roof. <laughs> uh, so what we actually what we should do is just start with a higher one, right, and just put it up like that, and then like that, and then hope now it'll work. Here we go. Let's repair our stuff. Go get some more copper. Portable went workbench would be helpful. Yeah, even if it's like a later game, like an upgrade thing or something, that'd be good. Hey, Glitter. Thanks for coming on over here to uh, YouTube. I know you're always on my, my Twitch. 
But yes, hopefully soon I will be able to make a video on how not to attack swamps. <laughs> and you know, some tips on, on what I would do differently next time around. Let's we'll see if we can figure it out this time, guys. Fingers crossed. It could work. Could. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Is there some copper here? 23. Alright. Let's go. Let's head home. See if we can... Um... Oh, dude, really? Stamina on this game, I swear. Do you guys know a good way of training your stamina? <laughs> How do you train it to get it better? This mine's pretty rubbish. And I've seen some people have like way bigger stamina bars and stuff, and I'm like, that is what I want. So it's probably the biggest thing that can help you in the game. Because if you run out of stamina, like, during combat and stuff, you're pretty much dead. Like, well, you know, if you run out at the wrong time. And I'm still, like, getting used to the whole managing stamina thing, because obviously... I, I, I don't know if this is common in games or not, um, but I haven't played many combat games in the past where you have to worry about your stamina. Like, they normally, like, in terms of, like, hitting and blocking and stuff, it doesn't normally take up stamina to do that, in my experience, but I'm not the most experienced with combat games, so, uh, you know, I could be wrong. Oh, that's what we're going to do, is activate the Ike Theory ability, potentially, although we don't need to do it for what we're trying to do this time around, but I could have done it for the past one. Oh, dudes, I don't want to fight you. Just don't come near me. If you do, you'll die. The boar is just a bit annoying at this point. We'll just run away from him, see if we can. If not, I'll kill him. Eating more food helps. Yeah, I'll try and get all that sort of stuff. Uh, the higher your skills at jumping and running, the less stamina it costs. True, yeah. So it's actually leveling the other skills that's important, really. Oh, no. Let's fight, man. Um, all right, are we heading the right way here? Let's see. Uh, no, it's like this way. Got a bit lost when I was doing the ball fight. Yeah, so there's food. I just didn't know if there was a way of, like, sort of directly training stamina or not, but I guess it's just, like, yeah, the stuff you guys said, the food, the first boss, um, and, you know, training the stuff around it, and then it will use less stamina. But I thought, I swear I've seen people with bigger stamina bars... Was I wrong on that then? Like, you see my yellow stamina bar down the bottom there? I thought I'd seen uh, people that had a, a longer bar than that, but maybe I was incorrect. All right, let's check this out. So the plan is to just get back, try out this little island nearby, see if we can set up a portal or a base somewhere nearby where we can keep accessing I think a portal would be best. A protected portal would be best. So we can come home. We can get our stuff. We can come back. You know? So like, if we need to get better food and stuff, come and get the food. If we need more weapons, whatever we need. I guess we'll just try that. I just... Yeah, I can't think of a better way of, of trying for now. So this remains the plan. And we shall see if it works or not. And if it doesn't, then, <laughs> then I really don't know at that point, to be honest. I'll just, um, I think at that point I'll turn my stream off, go have a little cry, and try again tomorrow. <laughs> it's certainly been a frustrating day. I love this game, it's really fun, you know, don't have much bad to say about it, but today, yeah, it's been, it's been a bit annoying. I mean, most games are like that. I think that's every game, right, the trolliest thing is when you just, like, keep dying and losing all your stuff and having to start over and... The problem with this game is, like, when you die in the way that I have, you can see the effort and the time it takes me to get back all that way across the map, to get enough things together, to be able to get all that way across the map because they make it difficult, like... Yeah. So that that's the frustrating part of it. All right, where are we at here? So we wanted to get all that copper, so let's put all this copper in here. Okay. Um, how full are you? You've got 12 coal right now. I don't think we have any other coal. Oh, we do have coal to put in. Alright. There's some coal. We'll go and sleep and then see what we can do in the morning. Because all that stuff will be done overnight. Alrighty. Um, oh, I'm still wet. I love that you can't sleep in this game if, you, if you're wet. No one wants to get into bed wet. Ruins the bed for the, the next day, right? 
You have to wash your sheets. I guess they didn't have sheets. <laughs> Thanks, Rowolf. I was semi-joking. Um, if, I, if, I, if I die again and it doesn't work, I might try and think of just something else to do because I'd be worried at that point the content might be getting a bit repetitive and um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, let's just see. Let's try and try and kill him, see if we can or not and go from there, I guess. Right, we need some tin smelted up now as well. Uh, well let's say we're going to need a load of this stuff as well. Is that it for wood? Where's my wood gone? Um, we might need some of this, so I'll just put a little bit in. See how we go. Uh, while this stuff is smelting, I'm just going to wait in this house here. I hope that I'm going to be safe because uh, I really got to pee. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to BRB, guys, leave you with a chair stream for a bit while some of that stuff is smelting. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, hello. All right, Gaming Arts just got to the swamp as well. Gaming Arts, are you dying? Uh, I, I'm dying a lot. <laughs> and if you're not dying, give me some tips, please. Wait, what, did we really run out of coal that quickly? I need to smell things, please. Uh, all right, let's go put like everything away in our rubbish storage area and uh <laughs> try this all again all right so first up putting stuff away second up hopefully going to be a bit productive out there and getting things done all right so i'm going to want to keep that on me um keep some wood on me as well stones we might need in a second we put that stuff in the cart take that with us actually these here can go in there and the food can go outside. Alrighty. Put the stones in there as well, I guess. Trying to keep my inventory somewhat free and organized to an extent. Um, Alrighty then. We pick up some tin yet. That's no, still on the copper train. Need tin. So what are we trying to make up here? Um, bronze axe, right? We need two more for that. Uh, actually, that is two more. So let's just craft that up. So we need two more bronze to make a bronze axe to get the fine wood to make the boat. Then once we've made the boat, we can actually go. That's at that point we're good. Um, what do we got there? A couple of bronze. So yeah, we should. We're gonna be good once we got this fine wood. Um, it's just a faff to get it. Uh, oh wait, actually, sorry. I need this bronze to make up the axe. Uh, what else do I need for it? See, two leather scraps only. Okay. Oh boy. Gotta be honest, I am not overly confident that we're gonna get it right this time. Um, given that I've not got it right at all today, but uh, it, this is at least a different approach. So there's that, you know. Um, thanks, Claire. Thanks very much. Enjoy your class, and uh, I will see you in the next one or whenever. And I uh, appreciate you coming along. All right, bronze axe again. This time we're not taking this bronze axe with us, by the way. Uh, the, the the use of it as a weapon 
is just nothing compared to the faff of getting the bronze and getting the fine wood to make the boat. Um, the problem with making a normal raft is it's quite a long way to go. We're going to be going pretty slowly. And then also, um, Sea Serpent's got a much better chance of getting us, right? So I figure boat's still probably better to make. What do you guys think? Because, like, on the map here, this is it's from here to here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Raft is going to do us. I'm worried we'd have issues with that. Once, like, this time around, I won't take the axe with me. So if, if I die again, and then uh, I've got to get more fine wood, at least I'll have the axe. Just make normal. Um, it's slower. I can see what you're saying. Like, if we just make the, um, the raft, we could have gone sooner without needing to get the bronze and stuff. So it can take longer because of that. I get, I get that point. Um... Maybe we'll try... Oh, dang. Because we need deer hide as well, actually, to do it this way. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll just try a raft attempt now to get my stuff. Should we, should we try a raft attempt, guys? I think it could be fun anyway, right? Just try it a little bit different. And also, like, it's sort of research for me. Just to see what it's like. So, to make a raft, what do we need to do? Um, sea monster spawn the same place every time. If you take the same safe way. Oh, interesting. Um, how did you get that information on um, sea monster spawning? Because I would really love to have somewhere I could get more information about this game. Like, um, if there's if there's somewhere I can go to read up on stuff like that, that would be awesome. Uh, all right, so I've just forgotten already because I'm rubbish at remembering. So I need six leather scraps, six resin. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try raft it across, guys. This is gonna be fun. If this works, then uh, hell, I I owe you a big thank you. So six of that, and six resin as well. Oops, no, still need you. Uh, four of you. And we'll go keep this core wood somewhere safe for now with our bronze axe, of course. So let's see, we don't need, no, we need that, sorry. We don't need this, we don't need this. Um, I'll take honey, but I don't need that much of it. So we can put back like most of the honey. We'll take a bit of this. I won't take any of that. Um, we're just going to take these two. Just because... Oh, um, we'll go put the copper back. Because all we're really trying to do here is get to our stuff. And then run away. Now, should I take stuff to make a portal? Or should we just raft it there? Try to grab our stuff and raft it back. That's not going to work, is it? See, if we raft it there, we can boat back. Hmm. All right, hell, how certain are you that these um, monsters always spawn in the same place? Because if you're certain, I think I will take a route. Um, I'll take the stuff to make a portal. I think we've got more certain cores somewhere. I've only got one certain core in there, so we actually can't make a portal if I don't find another one. But I thought we had another 10 somewhere. Boy, I hope I'm right on that, but I'm not looking too good just now. All day. Oh no. Oh, this could be such a pain. <sighs> I don't see any certain cause, so... Alright, that's, that's, not, that's not the best news I've had today. Um, Alright, in that case, we've got no choice. We're going to raft over, try to get our stuff. Let's not take anything we don't need. So, like, literally, there's no point taking any of this stuff here. We're just going to take... Oh, no, we need that to build the thing. But we're just going to literally take the bare minimum. All right, fair enough, hell. In that case, uh, I'm, I'm going to put my trust in you, buddy. Better be right. <laughs> if you're not, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to lose too much this time. Um, we'll, we'll lose this this time if we die, which, you know, is probably not ideal. But at the same time... We're not the end of the world either. And we'd quickly be able to get back into making the stuff we need to make a boat if we if we decide that's gonna be better. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, you know what? Let's answer a random question while I'm going around here, because why not, right? 
Looking back on your life, what have you done that has given you the most satisfaction? That is a random question that just came up there. Looking back in your life, what have you done that's given you the most satisfaction? Hmm. <laughs> I would say building my YouTube channel. Um, because... Hey, Bachelor. Oh my goodness, there's a name from the past. How are you going, buddy? I feel like it's been a while since uh, since I've spoken with you, but I hope you're well. Um, Raft, make simple base for spawn point. Get the boat and all your stuff to make the portal. We are rooting for you. Thank you, Rowwolf. Thank you, man. I'm rooting for me too. I really hope I make it this time. Uh, oh, there's a boar. And I didn't factor this in. Um, I have no weapon on me. What a nub. Right. Punch the ball to death. Go on then. I'll take you on, ball. Oh, yeah. Fight you with my fist. Boom. Alright. Um, eat. Um, what the heck? No, I'm not trying to eat honey. I'm trying to... Uh, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't factor in that I might have to fight stuff on the way. Yeah, building my YouTube channel is the thing that's giving me the most satisfaction because it's something I really feel I've done on my own and you know that I've worked hard at and stuff if you work hard for something it comes off feels so much better than if you just feel like you got lucky or whatever you know so I'd say uh, you know that's that's been a big thing for me um, you guys are praying for me hell's praying for me <laughs> all right well let's see how we go we've got the wind with us what could go wrong this is a fair bit slower than the boat I will say that but we're just going to take a direct approach and hope the hell's right. See how we go. Wow, no way. A 10 minute crave ride for iron transport gets tedious. Yeah, it's an interesting way of doing this game where you can't take the uh, metal stuff through portals. This is crazy slow. I mean, probably still quicker than grinding out, making up another crave, but... Is it Crave or Crave? Call Crave 1, Crave 2. What do you think, chat? Is it Crave or Crave? 1 for Crave, 2 for Crave. Um, yeah, fair enough, Bash. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's it. I remember you from the uh, the Minecraft server days and stuff. Um, mod on the server. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a while. Are you, are you playing Valheim or are you just here to hang out and stuff? But yeah, what about you guys? What what in your life has given you a lot of satisfaction? The same for me, it's my YouTube channel. And the last week in, in particular. Um, Bachelor reckons Crave. I can, yeah. It looks like Crave, but then I don't know how Viking that sounds. Trenna's saying Crave as well. What threw me is in a video I watched earlier today, someone called it a Crave, and I was like, hmm, am I saying this wrong? Or is he saying it wrong? I don't know. Uh, the wind icon is white, yeah. No, the wind is here. It's not, it's not the grey no win thing, so. Hey Rascal, how you going? And fair enough, Bash. Uh, it's a great game. Everyone is getting addicted to it. It's done 2 million downloads in its first two weeks of being released on Steam. And it's going off. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be big, man. Check it out if you think you like the look of it when you're like just watching today. It's um, Yeah, if you want to lose like a good few hours of your life over the next few weeks, then I... Highly recommend this game because it's it's pretty addictive. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I don't think I'm, I'm going to think about this for a second because I I don't like to say stuff unless I feel like it's true. But I'm pretty sure I haven't been this excited about a game when I first started playing it since Minecraft. Um, and I, and obviously like I, I did Minecraft on my channel for well four years now. Um, so obviously I really like that game and I really enjoy it and stuff, right? But yeah, this one is is awesome um it's sort of like it's got similarities to minecraft but like way harder uh, it's it's reasonably price bash it's 20 bucks right now on steam it's still in early release so i think if you're gonna buy it now is probably a good time as well because you know could well go up in future um like right now honestly if i had paid 80 dollars for this game i w i wouldn't feel like i'd i'd been overcharged like, I, I would have paid a lot more than I have for it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to have got it for what I did. So I'm not sure if this is quicker or not. 
Um, I guess it depends what stage of the game you're at and how long it's going to take you to get the resources together. Certainly will save me resources though. Um, and if, if the sea monster thing is correct and we're not going to run into one uh, by, by following this path, then I can see the advantage to it. Particularly if I wasn't streaming because, you know, you just put a movie on and you just... It's like, you, there's a lot of stuff like that in gaming, right? Um, I know there are cheats in the game, Rascal, and, and I've seen like a little bit of information on them, but I haven't really seen too many people doing much with them. Um, it's something I was looking at to maybe make a second world and do it as a, um, and do some cheats and stuff and play around and see what I can do. I didn't want to spoil anything for myself just yet though, uh, I want to get a little bit further into the game. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll consider that. Um, 20 uh, Americans, like 28 Australian, I paid for it or something like that. Um, but yeah, about 20 US dollars, so pretty, um, pretty good price. <laughs> so apologies guys, a little bit of a slow thing here. Um, unfortunately we don't have the materials to make a portal, so we're just heading on over here to get our stuff. I feel like I'm probably gonna die. Don't know what the plan is when we get there, to be honest. I guess when we get there, we'll, we'll try and we'll try and explore around a bit here and just see if there's somewhere we can potentially set up and gather some resources to then go back into the swamp with, and hopefully have a better go at getting our stuff. But yeah, it's it's super difficult. It really is. The game. I mean, if people weren't making content on this, the game doesn't really give you much information on this sort of stuff either. Like. On how to kind of you know be it like how do you, how do you tackle the swamp how do you go for it um yeah like it's only through watching other people that i've really learned much about this game all right i feel like my raft has really slowed down but the wind is still behind us fully so it doesn't make a lot of sense Yeah, certainly a very addictive game. Oh my god, this is uh, this is a slow sale. You know what, I'll do another random question, maybe. Why not? Gives me something to chat about for a second. Do you like horror movies? I think those of you who know me know that I absolutely hate them. Um, oh my god, okay. If you were given unlimited resources, how would you lure the worst of humanity into one stadium at the same time. What a, that really is a random question. So I've got unlimited resources and my goal is to get all of the worst people into one stadium at the same time. How would I do that? Hmm. Uh, no killer, this one I'm traveling really light. I'm just trying to get there and recover some things from my graves, but yeah, not, not feeling overly confident about this. This raft is so tedious as well. Um, okay, how do I lure bad people to a stadium <laughs> given unlimited resources? I mean, I guess I would be like, do some ridiculous like giveaway where I'd be like, okay. Um, I guess I've got to like only lure bad people as well, right? So I, can't, I have to set up so only bad people will turn up. Just advertise on the on the black market as they call it, the underground market, whatever. Um, you know, to um, like, if you turn up, you've got a chance of winning, I don't know, a billion dollars and, you know, El Chapo performing live. Some mafia bosses are doing a cabaret. <laughs> I don't know, I, that's such a weird question. Okay, I feel like this is super slow. If I was just paddling right now, I feel like I'd be going faster. Which shouldn't be the case, because the wind is directly behind us, but... This feels so slow, man. I really can't figure boats out, because the wind is 100% behind us right now. Alright, now, just as I say that, it changes. So now we do need to just paddle, but... Hey, there's the swamp! I don't know why I'm excited, I should be terrified. Alright guys, what are we gonna do? As soon as you get the next boat after the raft, it's so much better. Yeah, it really is. I'm just right now doing this to try and recover one of the three boats that we've lost here and some of the items that I've lost here, but uh, yeah, this was painfully bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be using the raft again. It's too painful. This is <laughs> this is the last raft. 
It'd be good if we could set it on fire or something. Yeah, true, Fox. I do need to do that as well. Um, particularly if we're coming back to, like, fight these dudes. But I I don't want to fight. I just want to grab my things and leave. But they don't seem to want to let me do that. So I, I might have, hopefully, at least one boat still intact here. Which means when we get our thing, well, if we get our things, we can go get in our boat and get the heck out of there. Um, but I don't know, or at least we're getting close now. Unfortunately, it's blooming, turning night time, which, you know, more mobs spawn and they're more dangerous and stuff. So, not not ideal. I feel like Castaway right now. Tom Tom Hanks here, and little Wilson on the front of my raft. And I'll be away. <laughs> Great movie though, by the way. Any uh, any Tom Hanks fans or Castaway fans in the uh, in the chat right now? It is such a good movie. I haven't seen that in a little while, actually. It really makes you think, like, what would you do? I feel so sorry for him at the end. He gets back and, like, spoiler alert. Um, you know, his wife's moved on. Oh, here's our boat. All right, so we're very close. All right, so I want to just kind of go, like, parallel with the shoreline a little bit here. Uh, still getting a bit closer, though, so not quite parallel. But just to see what the heck is that in the water? Is that a deer? It must be a leech, but what the heck... It's like a deer out here. Yeah, I just want to try and suss out the monster situation here. Um, looks like they might have broken one of our boats and sort of sunk it. All right, chat. Come on. Fingers crossed for me here. We're going in. It's dark. It's really dark because uh, it's nighttime. Oh, no. Get back on the paddle. And, uh, and, and there's a deer swimming out here. I don't know if that's a bad omen or what. What are you doing? Right. Paddle, please. Um, yeah, swimming seems to take a crazy amount of stamina. Like, for all the things they've tried to make realistic in this game, I feel like swimming is really unrealistic because the amount you could sprint, if you've got that much stamina to be sprinting that much and running around all day, you could definitely swim more than the like little bit it lets you swim before you drown. Oh my god. Okay, that's all right. It's just a leech. I don't think the leeches can get me unless I'm in the water. I don't think they're going to like attack the boat or anything i really hope i'm right about that oh they can attack the boat wait is he just gonna keep attacking my boat am i gonna sink oh please please don't do that if i die because a leech attacks the boat all right so maybe i do need to head towards land dude are you serious i don't know how many hits this can take i don't know how like let's just get off this is there like i can't re repair it right now but it isn't too damaged, so hopefully we'll be alright. Let's just keep, keep going. Alright, I can't see any mobs here at the moment. There's another blooming leech coming. Maybe we can get in a boat and get away on the boat. Alright, let's just get out of here. So where there is there is something there. Oh, is that something shooting at me? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, that dude's shooting at me. If I can get over to that boat, we might be alright. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my word. Uh, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. I feel like I'm taking up all of my, my grave points now as well. God, this is so tough. All right, I want to check something out. Um, let's actually just sleep. Oh, it's been such a frustrating day. I I need to make a good video about this so that other people don't have to go through this. Because honestly, like, I can see some people... And I've actually... Like, there's been comments on this and stuff, and I didn't really understand until now. Um, but uh, uh, people have said, like, they've got to points in this game where they've had to just stop playing for like 24 hours because it really annoyed them and i reckon it's because of stuff like this um you know like it, it takes you so long to get back there you lose all your stuff every time it's a little bit rubbish um all right let me, let me try not to kill anyone i mean it's like you get a little bit of i mean like this compared to troll armor would be a little bit better I don't know what to do. I mean, I went fully geared up and we died instantly. And I went with nothing and we died instantly. 
I need to get my stuff back to get the certain cores. I I think I'm just thinking now. I, I honestly think that um my graves are gonna be disappearing this whole time as well. And like if I go back, is that ghost still gonna be there potentially? I think we're gonna go back one more time in this stream. Um I think. So let's see, I've got I would need some more um fine wood to do this, but I'm gonna go back with a boat because that raft just absolutely sucks. I'm just um, the other thing is like so there's a swamp there. There'll be if I sail in different directions, there'll be other swamps. Might be just a case of needing to go to them. I think if I go to this one and die again, I might look to just go to a different swamp in the future. Um, so let's just see what we do about that. All right, uh, let's go to here. I need some wood. Maybe it's all up in here, actually. Although there's too fine wood in there, which is actually going to be useful later as well. Yeah, maybe a bow and arrows could be useful. Um, what did I need wood for? That's why I want to craft the hammer, so I also need some stone for that. What? Did I just grab wood? Oh, it's the wrong type. Do I not have any normal wood here? Maybe I lost it all last time I went. Guess so. Alright, well we need some more fine wood. We'll get some more wood that way anyway. Um, let's go pick up all of our honey as well. <sighs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people have spoke about the swamp, so I don't think I'm alone in this. I think a lot of people are finding it to be a bit of a stumbling block in terms of, like, progressing through the game. Um, yeah, it could be uh, green apple pie. It could be just a nighttime spawn. We got unlucky, really. Um, it turned nighttime just before we got there, so I knew that we were going to struggle... We're kind of going to struggle no matter what, so... Um, yeah, we need a bit of luck, and we got a bit of unluck, so... Not ideal. Um, yeah, pretty sure I'm losing all my stuff. Like, pretty much going to be starting over in the game. Just about, because I've taken all my good stuff with me so many times and died. So if we do lose it all, and unfortunately, I really think that's what's going to happen then yeah we're essentially starting over and this stream might turn into one giant mining session yeah i'm trying to think what i'd do differently if i did this again i think definitely there'd be a huge focus on getting a portal set up nearby um like if if, if like somewhere around here or around here there's like somewhere nearby that's like either another island or even just connected but it's like a meadows rather than a swamp area if there was that and we could go there and get that portal set up so we could transport quickly i would definitely do that if i could start again um other than that i'm not sure i mean clearly i need a much better way of fighting these dudes now there's a way that you can easily level up your blocking skill so maybe if i'd leveled that up a lot because i think that's actually something that's rubbish for me at the moment like, blocking's only level 7. So if I got that up to, like, level 30 and then took the bronze shield, I'd be blocking a hell of a lot of damage. Plus, I could work on getting much better food. So, um, all up, that would be, um, that would be a, a thing that we could do. We'll have one last good go at this, and if it doesn't work, we'll do a little reset, and we'll just go for broke, and we'll, um, we'll go for a different swamp area and try and figure that out instead. Uh, yes, Rowwolf. I went by raft. I got there. A ghost spawned. It just turned night time. A ghost spawned. Came over to us. There was just nothing I could do. I literally was just like, yeah, I'm about to die. <laughs> and then I did. So, one more, uh, one more death. You know how in Minecraft you can do hardcore mode? And once you die, that's it. It's just game over. That in Valheim would be interesting. Be very interesting. Uh, what are we at here? So I think that's enough wood. Uh, let's let's head back now. Try and get us all set up like as quickly as we can, and then head back through and see what happens this time.
Uh, you're on a swamp by yourself. Got to fight Bone Mass now. Oh boy. So do you have, so Bone Mass does he spawn in swamps? Like his his altars, are they in swamps or? Uh, I haven't seen that one yet. I'm not not like up to that stage really just yet. But yeah, sure it's gonna be a tough. Oh, for goodness sake! Sure it's gonna be a tough one. Uh, we need PewDiePie to do some um, some Valheim, and then uh, <laughs> then uh, then the game will really take off. But yeah, I saw he's been doing a bit of the old uh, what do you call it? Thingy majiggy, hardcore mode there. All right, let's have a little look. Um, so we want to make up a hammer. We didn't make one of these yet, so let's do that. And let's start getting this in a bit better. All right, so. Um, we want to make up a boat. We need ten. Oh dear, hide. That's the other thing. Let's um. While we're here, uh, this one here. Sorry. Get this done. So yeah, deer hide. Do we even have any deer hide? Probably not. Bad times. Um. Thank you, Ro Wolf. I appreciate that. We actually uh, I built this space pretty much in the last uh, stream that I did. Um, spent a bit of time on that and stuff, but uh, yeah, it was looking all right. This area here is the one I want to change. Once I've moved all my storage across, uh, I'll let's change all this up for sure. Okay. All right, we need to go kill lots of deer. Let's do it. Lots of sneaking. Uh, so we're going to need you selected. And any deer around here? Uh, his altar is based in the swamp. Okay, apparently the hardest boss in the game, really? Need frost hours, just getting rid of mountain biome. How do you so what do you need to wear to go into a mountain biome without freezing? Do you know, uh, Rascal? And it's interesting that he's the hardest boss in the game, because isn't he the third boss? And there's like eight bosses or something? So you'd think number eight would be the hardest. It's almost like they've put the hump to this game in the middle. Like from about where I am now, to sort of conquering the swamp and defeating bone mass by the sounds of it and traversing the uh, mountains in order to defeat him by the sounds of it. Um you know, it's like they've sort of, uh, they want this middle bit to be the difficult bit, you know? Which is kind of weird, kind of interesting. I think we can hide from deer. Can we Can we do that? Is there a line of sight thing? We can sneak back up on them now. All right, I need to kill this dude. Two star deer, we really need to kill this one. There we go. We get a lot of drops from him. Um, frost resist potions or a wolf cape. Ah, okay. Wow, we got eight from him. All right, that's actually really good. So, I, see, I don't know anything about wolf capes or taming wolves. I know you can tame them. I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, I don't know anything about potions yet either. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one for sure. And in terms of fighting deer, is that just like a don't bother type of thing? Uh, sorry, fighting wolves, because aren't they like really difficult? Um, one earlier came at me and killed me. That was annoying. I was just on the way to like go put the raft down, to go back to this base, and the blooming um, wolf got me. Is it just five bosses? Is there? Okay, fewer than I thought. You need a string of fires in the mountains. Oh, okay. So that's how you get through them. Oh, that's a cool hack. Awesome, man. I'm learning so much in this stream. Um, so much that I'll have to include in uh, future videos and things I make. Alrighty, uh, so we've got the deer hide. Let's see, what else do we need for this boat? 20 resin, and then it's the bronze nails that's really the thing. We've got the resin. Although we're getting through it with the amount of boats we're getting through, but you know, it's, uh, it's so good. Um, let's see, bronze nails. We need four bronze then. So we're gonna need to smelt up a bit more tin. Yep. Okay, is there anything in here right now? Nothing. If I put that in, is there any coal in here right now? There is a little bit, but we might need a bit more as well. Put like a little bit of that in, and let's see what else we're gonna need here. Um, so just a resin, let's go grab the resin and the nails which we're gonna make up. Oh boy, let's see how we go. All right, so. Quality of life really bumps up after the second boss. Yeah. I think after I defeat the third, I'll be pretty happy though. Because I'll have conquered the swamp at that point. Which is proving very difficult. I'm so determined to like, complete this game though. 
I really am. <laughs> and then just get into doing a load of building and stuff, I reckon, at that point. Make a like, really epic base, really cool base and stuff. Maybe get into doing some speedrun attempts as well. Not that I think I would be good at that sort of thing, but it'd be good to just get something started off, bit of a thing. To kill bone mass, you need iron armor, iron mace, and huntsman bow, and frost arrows, and you'll be fine. Well, at the moment, I can't even get to the swamp. <laughs> Never mind get the iron armor and stuff. So that's, I'm having a, yeah, there's a, there's issues there, but, you know, that's this what the stream's all about, right? We're working on it. So we need eight of that, and we need four of that. Oh, carrying too much. Right, let's just make up some nails then. Um, oh yeah, bronze first, and then nails from bronze, and then we're good. Okay, so we need another like two tin. It uses up so much coal. The uh, smell. I'm not sure like how much it uses up. Some of the finer nuances of this game, I still want to make out. Oh, who was asking about my campfire earlier and how I put it in my house? Are you still in chat? And if you are, do you still want to see how I did that? Um, if so, let me know and I'll sort that out for you. Um, Valheim would be a fun game to speed run. I don't know. I think you'd have to do it like to speed run defeating the first boss, maybe. To speed run, speed run all in one go, completing the game. I think you'd need to be like a lot better at the game than I am. So yeah, I wouldn't be attempting that myself. Oh what we have? Oh my god! Tell me we're not out of tin. Please tell me I don't need to get any more tin. Oh my god! I need one more tin, guys. This has honestly just been my day. Just like these annoying little things keep happening, like there, like I need one tin. I gotta go all the way to the Black Forest and whatever just to get one tin. Actually, you know what? There might be tin uh, in, in this Black Forest. I, I've got a couple near me. I'm pretty sure I've harvested most, if not all of the copper in this Black Forest, but probably not all of the tin. So, yeah. Yeah, speedrunning the entire game would be too grindy, but you could have competitions to set set records and stuff to see about speedrunning, defeating just Ikther, right? Um, you know, load up a random speed, uh, sort of random seed, I should say, and see how long it takes you and stuff like that. I think that's the way you have to speedrun this game. I can't imagine speedrunning all five bosses. Like, the amount of hours I've put into this game to get here, I know that if you're speedrunning, it's a bit different and stuff, like, you wouldn't do a lot of the stuff that I've done, but even so, I just, oh, there's a troll. See what I mean? Like, just all these annoying little things today, like... Now there's a troll here that we have to deal with. So let him come near us. Oh, he's a rock thrower. Okay. Alrighty. I just need one tin, Mr. Troll, and then I shall leave you alone. I promise. I shall leave you by him. And I won't attack you or anything. Right, is that tin there? Alright. Oh, get the right thing. Oh, blue <laughs> Honestly, it's just like all day, these little niggles, I swear. Alright, there we go. That's him taken care of. Now we can get back to doing what we were doing, which is taking down this Tim. Alright, just breathe. It'll be alright, Kaizen. <laughs> just, just chill. What's, what's horrible about this is I feel like we're just going towards effort and stuff. To just go back to the same spot and die in the same place in the same way again. And it's like a little bit disheartening. Not gonna lie. Boy, if I make it, I will be... I will be chuffed. I will be so happy. Even just like... Just being able to recover some gear. And get back out of there. For now would be good. But like longer term, I seriously have no idea what I'm gonna do about taking on the swamp. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work for me. <laughs> so true, Anton. Like I say, I'm just having all these little things today. It's like, they just, they're like one in a hundred chance of happening in the game, I swear. And then today I'm like having them all happen to me in one go. <laughs> it's just like, come on, give me a break, please. Please let me do this. I wonder like realistically how fast someone could speed run this game like all five bosses if, if there's five bosses like completing them all if we take that as like completing the game that's gotta it surely take you at least like about a 24 hour session 
even if you're like super good at the game and stuff surely what do you guys reckon anyone who's probably like played this game a bit more than me you guys might have a bit more info and be able to guess more accurately because i'm still quite new to the game so i'm just making a lot of assumptions and stuff but yeah it feels it feels like it would take a long time i don't know could be wrong all right here's our nails woo woo nails for the boat we nailed it guys <laughs> all right um all right we now have all the stuff to make the boat so 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 let's get this sorted so first things first as opposed to first things being second all right so that's what we need for the boat that 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 and then what 30 of the wood so i don't want to take anything that i don't need to take that's the first sort of thing i want to make sure of so that's what we need for the boat all of that stuff can go away somewhere so how are we going to do it guys yeah, exactly, Rascal. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think it would, even if you're speedrunning and trying and stuff, it's going to take you at least that long, surely. Uh, let's just put loads of stuff in here for now. I don't even care where it goes. That's what we need for the boat. Don't want to take this pickaxe with me. Or my bronze axe, for that matter. Um, I'll take a wooden club, because if I lose that, it's doing me a favor. I made that by accident, because uh, it's like my second one. All right, so that's for the boat. And then we can take a few different food sources, because um, why not? Um, let's just take like a few of you and then I don't know about other food just I'm not even sure what we're doing when we get there to be honest um, let's just take like two of you I know this food isn't the best as well it's just to give us a little bit of something all right so what's the plan guys we make the boat we get there and then what should we try to make just a bow and some wooden arrows maybe we'll try that Okay, um, so where did I put my wood? It's <laughs> a problem now, I can't remember if put stuff. All right, uh, there we go. Yeah, I think, I'm just thinking, we can try this out and see what happens. So to make the crude bow, we need eight leather scraps. Oh, and what about the wooden arrows? What do they use? Um, is it just wood? Yeah, okay. We might actually need more wood then to test this out because Especially with wooden arrows and a crude bow, we're going to need quite a lot right to shoot this. Um, okay, see see what we can make and then go from there. Is this even a high left level to do it? Crude bow. And then wooden arrows. We're going to be able to make, what, what is it, eight per what? Yeah, we're going to need more than that. More than just the one, obviously. Um, so let's get our bronze axe. And let's have a little sleep. Actually, wait. I won't sleep now. I'll sleep just before we leave so that we've got a bit of time where it's not night time. And actually, if this is all the stuff we want to take with us... Uh, no, I'm going to make a shield as well. Yeah, okay. So, get some wood. So make up some wooden arrows. Lots of them. And a wooden shield. Then... Head off. See what we can do. Hope for the best probably get close to rage quitting because i'll probably die again and then we'll go yes thank you killer i will make sure it's um what do you call it um a daytime before we go yeah i think i'll take i want to take maybe a hundred or so arrows um just because it's only wood at the end of the day um and if this goes wrong chat i might need some suggestions if we want to keep streaming after this, I think, yeah, I might need some suggestions of what we do. Because um, I'm going to be so short on stuff and what have you, like, hmm. And I'm not going to want to, like, try any more of uh, going back to get all of our stuff from the swamp, I'd, I'd say. Then I'm going to get to a point where I'm just like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> like, done for the day. Wake up fresh tomorrow, try again type of deal. But I do want to keep playing the game, and there's a lot of stuff I need to grind out. So if you guys are happy with me doing a bit of, like, resource grinding, um, then I might just uh, do some of that. Um, and if we can get enough done, I might even better get into doing some building afterwards, but I don't know. But as I say, if you guys have any suggestions, things you want to see uh, after this next trip to the swamp, let me know. See what I can do for you guys. Um, Alright, let's head back. Type cheat command and teleport to your coordinates. It's a thought. 
that is a thought. Yep. Oh, hey, Glitter. How you going? Yeah, I'm on for a bit. Um, I've been doing lots of grinding and dying since you've been gone. So don't feel that you've missed much, because you haven't. Um, <laughs> we're going back now to do a bit more probably dying. So yeah, wish me wish me well. This wood, I guess we just will use most of it up for this, but I do want to see, um, to make like one of these big shields, six leather scraps, let's make one of those up. So we've got like some sort of chance here, right? Um, so it's uh, six of those. Also make sure the fire's lit. There we go, so we can go in there in a second. Have a little snooze. Um, Alright, let's choose a style here, guys. Nice black style. Because I haven't done that one before and it looks kind of cool, so why not? And let's make up a few more arrows. Um, and then that'll be it. It'll be time to sleep. And rest up for our trip tomorrow, guys. Um, right, but what do we not need to take with us? Let's put the stuff back if we don't need it. Um, we need all that, but we don't need them. Uh, boring class. Figured I died a lot. <laughs> you know me too well. What uh, what class was it? Just out of interest. And is it um is it like online at the moment? I know a lot of places in lockdown are doing it online. Or are you uh, still going into the the school? Um, all right. Actually, there's a couple more things I want to leave here, and then then we're gonna go, guys, and see what we can do. So I don't want to take that with me. I don't want to waste it. Um, actually, I think that's, that's all she wrote. Let's do it. Once more into the breach, dear friends. So we should probably eat now. Then we're about to eat again just before we get there. Try and get our stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. I used to study history, but it's all in the past now. <laughs> What's it like doing online classes? Like, do you prefer it to how it was before? Or is it like a bit more boring or something? How, how's that for you? I've never really had to do that. I did do some online studying once, like to get into university when I moved to Australia. I did a, like this online bridging course to get me into uni. So I did do a bit of that. Um, but yeah, that's the only time I've really studied online. It was only like a six month thing as well. And it wasn't like Zoom calls where you've got like, oh, my stamina is way better now. Maybe that's because I've been eating food. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Anyway, um, yeah, there wasn't like Zoom things where like you can see the teacher and that sort of thing. It was more just like they would post resources for you to like learn from and give you the work to do. And you just had to do it. I mean, it's partly because it's uni as well, I guess. Yeah, I've got me a harpoon. Um, just, can you kill it with a harpoon pretty easily, though? Or is it just about using it to drag it onto land, rascal? How, how do you use it for, um, for killing and stuff? You prefer it because you get out of class early. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I was never one who loved school, so I would always prefer that as well if I was getting out early. Um, all right, guys. Here we go again. I'm so, like... This is becoming so like repetitive. <laughs> I've done this so many times today. Because bear in mind, you guys have seen me do it like what three times or something, but I've done it like another three without you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. This could be it. I think I need to keep more of a distance when I get this time try and do this ranged attack thing whoa sugar 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 sea serpent all right whoever gave me that sea serpent tip i don't think you're right because there's one here right now okay <laughs> see what i mean about just stuff going wrong today i swear all right we should be close enough to land i'm, I'm hoping please please don't kill me or destroy my boat actually it could destroy my boat Oh my god, please don't do that either. I really need this boat. I don't want to have to get all that more bronze. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Alright, if I'm going to arrow it, I'm going to try and arrow it from here. Because I've only got wooden arrows and a crude bow. So it's not like ideal. So let's just turn our boat around a little bit. Try and get it sort of stuck on here. 
There we go. All right. Um, I think it might have gone. No, there it is. No, that's a rock. Okay. Um, right, let's just club these little cheeky buggers. Because otherwise, come on. Is there a pain in the neck? But um, do What are the chances? I know, killer, seriously, this day has been just madness for me. Um, look at it, like, what's the chances? First time you see one this close to land. You know what I mean? This is it. This is exactly my day. And now it's, oh, there it is. Okay. Did I hit it? I don't think I did. I need these arrows as well. I don't want, these weren't meant for you. And I'm not really hitting it, am I? I'm guessing it's not going to just go away, is it? I don't even think I'm in range at the moment, actually. Hey, you ugly guy. Alright, I'm just wasting arrows at this stage. Um, oh, hello. Yeah, come on then. Let's do it, man. Let's fight. Oh, hang on. I didn't mean to come into the water. Oh, look at that. The tide goes out and leaves me at the bit. I can't get back on. I'm full of dad jokes, Glitter. You know this. Oh, there we go. Um. Oh. Okay. Dude. Alright, this annoys me in the game as well. I pressed four there. Oh my god. And it, for some reason, just didn't work. Um. And sometimes when I'm trying to change weapons and stuff. You guys notice that? Sometimes you're trying to, like, change weapons and things, and it just doesn't work. I'm just going to have to grind out fighting this guy. Stand in the water. Okay. Does that attract it, does it? Oh, no. Oh, don't do that. Is it gone? There it is. Okay, we're getting it down a bit. Like a tiny bit. The, the problem is, this is using up all my arrows as well. Got well, fewer than 100 arrows now. Unless I... I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Um, I'm still in the water, dude. Come on. Where you at? Come back. Did it swim off because I was shooting it? I want to be really sure about this before I go out. See, now as well, it's going to be blooming night time time I get back. So I'm I'm going to have to go run home, sleep, and then come back. Um, yeah, true. I know, I know we can get, like, super OP armor if we could get this thing, but I think he swam off, guys. So, yeah. Okay, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't see him anywhere. And we were waiting there quite a while, but it looked like he'd gone. Alright, so this, the boat can stay there. It's it's there, it's happy there. Um, but we need to go home. I can't afford to go to the swamp at night time again. I've got zero chance if that happens. Are you dead? Yep. Just we'll get his net tails and all the food I can get at the minute. Alright, let's try and get away from here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should get a few more arrows when I go home. So apologies for this, guys. I'm just, I'm going to need to go home and, um. You suggest going to the Swan Base app? I don't know. It's going to be night time. I think, I don't know what to do, to be honest. I, I really just, I feel so lost in this game right now. Like, if I try and go to the Swamp, then if it's night time when I get there, I'll die. Doing it this way, the sea serpent might still be there when we come back. And if we can't kill it while we're on shore and we, we go out on the boat and then it's there. I, I don't know. I can try and fight with my bow, but I'll probably die. So, yeah. Oh, let's pick up branches on the way back. We might want to make up some arrows then. It's worth a try. There's a lot of them around here. Um, also, there's some mushrooms there. I'll pick those up as well. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Not sure what to do. 
Oh, it's okay, Glitter. I've sort of got it marked anyway because it's near a camp there where I need to be in order to build it. Um, so, yeah, I, I did think about it, but I was like, yeah, I'll be all right for um, using the, the marker and I've already got there. But thank you anyway. See if we can just outrun this dude. I just want to get back to my base right now. Oh, man. It's been a very unfortunate day, I'm afraid. But, that being said, if we can just figure this out tonight on the stream, that would be very, very cool. I'd be very, very happy. Pick up these branches. We've got six wood. We only need eight to make up a load more arrows. So that will negate um, how much we just used there. We're fighting that dude. The old uh, the sea serpent. It's the same creatures that swamp, regardless of what's TOD, time of death. I thought um, at night time was when that ghost thing spawned, though. Was that not because it was night time? Is it just... If not, we're, we're really screwed. <laughs> if it's just going to be there, then, uh, yeah, it's, it's game over at that point, I would say. Um, wait, I did have some more wood, I'm sure. Just need one extra here to make up some wooden arrows. Everything else can go back. So that goes back. You guys go back. You can go back in here as well. Um... All right, what else do we not need to say with this? Oh, time of day, that makes much more sense. Um, well, if that if that is true, if that is the case, then we're pretty screwed. Um, and at that point, we'll just need to try a different Swamp Perry, I guess, or something, because it just ain't happening, basically. Um, I think your day has changed. Imagine that serpent just chilling in the sun by the coast when suddenly a naked madman starts unloading arrows on it. Hey, listen. If if I could have had a conversation with it, if we could have agreed not to attack each other, that would have suited me, all right? It was, it was I had to fight him because it was him or me, all right? But um, so he, it's his own fault, you know? I don't want to fight it. I don't want to fight anything right now, actually. I just want to get to my, my things, recollect my items, and leave. Potentially never go back. Just, like, never complete the game. I'll just chill in my little area, make some pretty builds, and not worry about combat ever again. That sounds pretty preferable to me right now. Okay, you know what? I need some more food here. I'll grab a couple of mushrooms out, I suppose. Um, let's see, like, literally just, like, a few of you. But yeah, these, these sea serpents bring it on themselves. I got no sympathy for these, uh, these Loch Ness monsters. Alright. Man, this trip is getting, uh, <laughs> I've just done it so many times. Let's do a random question on the way here. Let's 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 change things up a bit, see if I can find something decent. Um What would you do if someone left a duffel bag with two million dollars on your back porch? I mean if I find two million dollars like that, I would actually be a little bit scared because I'm thinking like who would have that kind of cash to be walking around with? Like, you're probably talking, like, you know, drug dealers and gangsters and stuff like that. So then I'd be like, okay, why have they dumped it here? Like, you know what I mean? Like, do they think, like, have they got the wrong location for, like, a drop where it was supposed to be criminal? And then, like, so I'd be too scared to, like, spend it or something because then they might come after me and be like, oh, you've been spending my money. Um, so I think if that happened, I would probably, like, report it to the police um, because I believe then what happens is like after a while, if nobody claims the money and you've made reasonable effort to return it to the owners, which going to the police would be reasonable effort, right? Um, then you get to keep a portion of it anyway. So I'd much rather do that than, you know, like risk getting involved with the wrong type of people. I mean, you know, money's great and all, but living's pretty cool as well <laughs> so i don't know yeah it would be the thing is like i, I i've said before but like I, I wouldn't need that kind of money anyway like I, you know i'm pretty happy just doing what i do as long as i can pay my bills and at the moment i'm fortunate enough that i can so i'm like 
Yeah, I think I'd be all right. All right, we're going to swim out here. We're going to stay close to the shore for a little bit and check for sea serpents and then try to get towards uh, going... Oops, all right, so get in there. Uh, try to get towards going to the, um, the swamp, of course, but we shall see if there's any ugly monsters around here. You have faith. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I hope you're right, obviously, I really do, but I'm not exactly feeling it. Alright, I'm pretty scared here about the sea serpent thing, but we've got good wind behind us, so I feel like I need to make the most of that. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, yep. Yep, he's, he's still there. Um... <laughs> Hit head back to the land. Oh no, oh no, no. Don't show the boat. It's okay. Please, I need the... Wait. Um. Oh, I don't want to destroy the boat. It's all the bronze. Go away, look. I'm too close to the shore. You don't want to fight me here. Alright, in a minute I can get the boat back over there and repair it. So what I need to do is get out of here. Get up here. Um, get onto land. And try and shoot him away from it. Come on, dude. Go away. Leave my boat alone. Please don't sink my boat. Alright, we are getting some hits in on him. I can't believe we've had to deal with this as well. Oh no, I'm low on stamina. I need to not be in the water. Oh, there he is. Oh no, no. What? He's pushing my boat out. Dude, come back, come on. Right, if we come over here and stand in the water, maybe we can draw it away from the boat. I just don't want him to destroy the boat. Come on. Come back for me, man. Leave the boat alone. I'm the one you want. He wants that boat. I'm over here, dude. Come on. Fight me, look. I'm in the water. I'm ready for you. Oh my god, he's low. Come on. Ideally, I want to kill him in the shallows, but really, I just want to kill him. Low on arrows again now. Where's he gone? Has he run away from us again? I'm going to stay here for a bit, see if we can get him back. Um, I don't, no, don't swim, but just, I don't know what to do now. See, again, it's going to be night time at this rate time we get to the swamp. This was the problem we had the first time. Okay, so swim out here. Get up onto the boat. Um, how damaged is this? Okay, it's not great, it's not terrible. What we need to do is get it over this way a bit. Um, okay, so yeah, that way, we'll just paddle it around that way. Keep an eye out for this blooming serpent. And then I guess repair it, repair the bow, head out towards the swamp again. Lure it back in, try and kill it. If we can kill it, we'll be good. Um, I'm going to need to repair my bow anyway, so I think we need to repair both of these things for now. The boat and the bow. It's only a little bit down the shore here where we can do the repairs and then after that we'll just kill well we'll just like fight the sea monster at sea if we need to I just don't know yeah like a, a better way of doing this I'll try not to crash my boat on the way it's probably going to be helpful he said as he crashed his boat <laughs> uh, a difficult game and being prone to noobiness is just like a bad combination Right, I just want to keep like a keep a weather eye out, as the uh, as the sailors say, for what's going on here. Hmm, doesn't seem to be chasing us, but they can come up on you pretty quick. So just keep keeping an eye out. See what happens. So when you kill the fourth fourth boss, you get some sailing buffs, huh? 
that you have winning yourself constantly as well. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's encouraging. At least once I get to that stage, you know, <laughs> something. Um, right now, I can't even fathom defeating the third boss. Never mind the fourth. But obviously, I'm hoping we will. You know, get to that stage. Oh, there's my workbench, and there's a blooming Graylin attacking it. Come on, man. Give me a give me a break, dude. Oh, sorry, he's coming for me now instead. Alright, so with the hammer, can I now repair you? No, 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 I don't want to play search, I want to repair, there we go. Alright, Jesus, okay. Come on in, dude. Leave my stuff alone. Um, oh, I can actually repair the workbench, uh, sorry, repair my thing without making up. Alright, this is going to have to do, let's just try and get to this island. Alright, this way... <laughs> Here we go. And full steam ahead. And keep an eye out for sea serpents. Or serpent. I mean, if there's two, then we really are screwed. But yeah, hopefully not. So we're staying near the land a little bit here. Heading the same path as before. So like down this way and then across. And uh, see what happens this time, guys. Oh boy. Okay. The secret is I want to see it as soon as possible if he is going to be here. Um, so we can get up and get a good shot at it with our bow and stuff like that. <laughs> Thanks, Rascal. I appreciate it, man. There he is. All right. Okay, dude. I don't know how much health he's got. Did, we, did he just die? No. But he's going away, I think. Is he, is he running away or what's happening here? It's like he's running away. I want to head back in a little bit here. Where's he gone? Did he just run away from me? I don't know. I think he kind of left. I don't think we killed him, but I do think he left. So maybe we just run away and try and get to that swamp. All right, let's see. So you keep turning. Oh boy, this is just Tough game at times. I was shooting my boat, was I? Oh, what a pleb. That's, that's not a good thing to do. I'm trying to keep an eye on where he went and also like make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Which I sort of am. Sort of being the operative, but yeah. Um, all right, let's see. So we're gonna just head across that way. Run, all right, I'm running. I am running. I'm, I'm hoping this is going to work. We'll get away from him. Get up towards that swamp area. I feel like the boat was going the right way, but it says it's going too far to the left, so we have to go a bit more this way. I don't see him anywhere, so I don't know. We just have to keep sailing and keep looking behind us and stuff. All right, now I'm going too far that way. I do this in my boat a lot. I'm like S-shaping all the time. Going too far one way, then too far the other. Is that just me? Probably just me. <laughs> Alright, I don't see him anymore. The, the sea surface is definitely the scariest because I had it before where I died simply because he destroyed my boat and then I'm stranded in the ocean and it's like, you know, so it's not just the attack they can do to you, it's the fact that if they destroy your boat, you are really pretty screwed. Um, you know, at that point, you're just you're pretty much going to die no matter what. Sailing like I'm drunk here, going in many S shapes. When uh, getting to the island quickly would probably be preferable. All right, let's see. If we can eat all of our food, so let's do that. Try and get our HP as as good as we can, and uh, and just see what happens at that stage. Right. 
Of course, the sea serpent isn't even the biggest problem we've got. What is that I'm seeing on the map? Let's just land. Okay, I was like, please let me a sea serpent. Um, yeah, the sea serpent, you know, it's, it's a pain and we had to deal with it before doing this, but the biggest problem is still trying to get our stuff back when we actually get over to the swamp because as you guys have been in the stream a little while I've seen, it is pretty treacherous and as some of you who uh, are playing this game yourselves have said, you, you've struggled as well. And we've, I think we've been a little unlucky, particularly with that ghost spawning. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just just how it how it goes. Um, I know the swamps are difficult. Like I've seen a lot of people comment about it uh, in the game and stuff. Anyway, like everyone's kind of saying they're difficult. But here we go, <laughs> land away indeed. Glitter. Here we go. We see a bit of land. We see the swamp. We're, we're heading in the right direction. Although we already knew that, but still. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to go a bit more this way. And again, parallel to that coast, try to see what's going on over here a bit. We're, we're going to go for some ranged attacks this time. We don't have the best stuff. I need to miss this little island so I don't crash my boat. But hopefully we have enough to, um, to just get some things back and then, and then sail home. That'll be the next thing. I'll get all my stuff and then a sea monster will kill me on the way home. And then... Uh, then I really will uh, rage quit. But it's a planned rage quit, so I don't know if that counts. There's all my boats. The boat graveyard. I want to come back here late game when I'm super buffed and just slaughter everything in sight as like payback. <laughs> Thanks, Rascal. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay, here we go. Right, let's, slow, let's slow it down a little bit. Let's just take a steady look at this. Stay where we can get away from this area if we need to. There's our grave point, or one of them. I don't know if the others have been destroyed or something. I don't know if they're still available to us. There's another grave point there. Okay, something's attacking our boat over there, it would seem. So, yep, yeah, they're, they're sinking our boats. Um, I can't see what's doing it, which is a little bit worrying. Oh, no, I can. Okay. So, what, do we attack this from here? Um, hold on. Don't hit the boat. See, I'd have to get so many shots right from here. That's the only thing. He's a little bit distracted by that boat, though. Let's turn this around a second. <sighs> Alrighty, Glitter. Uh, good luck with uh, with your next class. Oh, is it turning night time again? Oh, do me a favor. Please don't give me any more ghosts. I wonder if we can pick up our stuff from that grave while it's still in the boat. Potentially, right? Because there's one grave that's stuck in the water there. Let's just paddle our way over to that. See what we can do. See this one that's just like there in the water. I don't know if we'll be able to pick that up without having to actually get out of the boat. Thanks, killer. I hope you're all right. So just want to kind of drift a little bit here. See if I can get close enough. Let's pick this stuff up. Oh, come on. Is that not close enough? Dang it. Okay. Um, now there's eels here. They'll attack our boat as well. Unfortunately. Uh, not eels, leeches, but still. Looks like there's not a lot around our stuff here at the moment. I can't see anything, but there was a dude here before, so I'm like, he can't have just gone, surely. Why is it gonna be turning out? Oh, there's two there's two graves in the water. Okay. Let's try and get to this one first, since we just turn around. Let's go this way a little bit. I'm just thinking if I can get really close to this, it might just let us get our stuff without getting into the water, because the eels will attack us in the water as well, I think. Okay. Why can't we get that? Are you serious? I basically crashed into it. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, items recovered. All right, this first one done. Um, that stuff on land is the stuff we need the most, unfortunately. Um, can I get out? Like over there. Okay, items recovered. 
you know what? I don't even need that other stuff. What I need is to try and sail home. Away from these eels. Okay, let's just go. Um, Alright, we've look at this. We've got a troll armor. We've got some bronze stuff. Some shields. I'm actually super happy that we've even got that. Um, no certain cores. Dang. The certain cores could be in that one over there. Oh, the stuff they're now shooting at me. Okay. Alright, let's get away. Let's get away from that stuff. If we can sail over here... Um, sorry if I'm like ignoring chat a bit. I'm just super concentrating right now. I'm just thinking that if they're over there, they're distracted over there. If we can just sail over to this little bit here, this might be where we can get our portal. If we can get our portal, we can potentially do this in, in future, uh, you know, to come back here and stuff. But I'm going to try, if nothing else, to at least salvage everything you see here because this is quite a lot of stuff. All right, now we need to paddle because this stuff's against us. I don't see anything. There's that dude over there. But if we can get to this one because it's in the water might not even matter like we don't even need to get out of the boat potentially right we didn't before so all right let's try this come on man come on no 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 oh no there it was no all right all right i've let myself get too close this is dumb all right get away get away get away get away get away don't destroy my boat. Oh my god. Please don't destroy my boat. Please don't destroy my boat. Okay, okay. He can't get to my boat now, I don't think. Oh, I really want to get that stuff. Alright. So what I'm going to do is get off here. Where's he gone? That's a leech. Okay. Concentration's real. Okay. If we can just get that stuff. You know what? I should actually check this a second. Um, let's get out of here. How damaged is the boat? Okay, it's not too bad. Alright, we've got another attempt at this. The leeches are going to attack us a bit. Uh, or attack the boat a bit, I should say. I can't see anything too much around here. Alright, alright, alright. Right, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, no, that's what... Oh, come on. No, no, no. Where's the... Why don't let me get it? Come on! I don't understand what's happening right now. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I need to get away. I really need to get away. I'm not going to make it to that other boat. I need to just get this one away. Can I eat right now? Full? Okay. Oh, this is so treacherous. Thanks, guys. I do appreciate the tips. I am, I am still keeping an eye on your little tips and things in... in chat there I'm just trying to as a slime or if I change boats because that one's probably got more hit points you know what it looks quiet over here right now famous last words come on please it's been such a tough day please let me get this stuff back what do I do if I get it back? Do I head back to land? What do I do? I don't even know. Alright, I'm going to try and come in slower. So just do it like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think you have to click it and select all. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh god, here we do again. I'm gonna die. Um Don't know what to do. We've got to fight it. Yeah. Ah! Oh, so close to getting everything back. 
Oh, I should have just left. <laughs> so disappointed. Yeah, I should have. I should have just left. Um, because then that wouldn't have happened. Oh, I'm so close to getting all stuff. To get back is gonna be quite a faff as well, because. I'm gonna have to grind out getting quite a lot of um, copper and tin to get all the bronze for the boat. And also that's now, oh, do you know what? I'm pretty sure. Thank you very much, um, Daedric Princess. Uh, glad I could help you out with that. Yeah, I'm just thinking guys, if someone told me something like you can only have three um, death points. Death points, is that right? Yeah, like gravestones. So I think, because that was our third one, I don't know if that stuff with the circling cores in, the one that we really wanted, is actually going to be saved. So, yeah. Um, okay, how much stuff do I even have on me right here? So, in terms of the bronze that we need, it's just the bronze nails, right? So we're going to need four bronze. So four bronze is eight copper, which we have, and four tin. That's all we need. Which, don't we already have some tin knocking around somewhere from before? Oh, over here. Look. So we've got one tin there. I've got a feeling, actually, there's more tin in here waiting to be smelted. Yeah, there is. Um, Alright. You know what? We've got a lot of this stuff. Let's just smelt this up a second. Oh, I'm going to get this stuff smelting. Um, and then I am going to go for a pee. <laughs> so I'll let you guys have a little um, chair stream. And then uh, I'll be back in just a second. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, guys, I think I've got one more go in me, <laughs> just about, I've got one more go in me, to um, just let you, I'm going to make the bare essentials, make a boat, run or sail up there, and see if we can just, uh, you know, get get something happening, just get like a little bit of, a little bit of luck, I, th I think I deserve a bit of luck, right, it's been a, it's been a tough day, I'm due a little bit of luck right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll give it like one last go, see if we can get our stuff back. If not, at that stage I am going to give up on it. Um, and I'm going to just go and uh, like tomorrow grind out, get in loads more gear and then go into a different swamp biome and trying to uh, use that swamp biome to set up a portal nearby and stuff like that. Basically doing what if I could go back in time I would have done uh, with this one biome that I found and seeing if we can you know <laughs> make that work um, but I'll give it one more go for the sake of the stream and because I feel like we got so blooming close to that time as well that third chest I even opened it and if I could have just hit take all in time we'd have been out of there we'd have been done oh come on dudes really I just need one tin All right. Whoa, that dude hits pretty hard. Um. OK, 
Okay, come on. Let, let, please let me at least just get this tin and get out of here without dying. All right, there we go. That's the all we need. All right, so we can get you on our back and run home, which is about in this direction, I think. Yeah, kind of. A bit more this way. Ish. Is that... Oh, yeah. That's, this is right. Um, you would use F5 and teleport there. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to cheat, but... Yeah, this sort of stuff as well it is like at least teaching me stuff about the game um, to make a better tutorial, hopefully, um, on on how to do this. So I feel like I've I've definitely learned a lot about swamps and about like I say, like I know what I'd like to do if I did it the other way around. Um, that if I could you know start over on me. Um, alrighty, what do we need to do here? Let's think about this. Let's get this tin smelt in. That's what we need to do. First thing. Dude, you follow me back to my base? Like, seriously? I'm just waiting now to start getting attacked by the forest. That happened to me earlier today as well. I was what, in between dying one time. The forest started to attack me. That was, that was super fun. Good dad. Yeah, the swamp is really not to be taken lightly at all, and um, you basically, you need to set yourself up that you are going to die when you try and do the swamp uh, in the early times, and then sort of knowing that you can just be like, oh, it has to be wood, and I'm one short on, look at this, I'm one short on wood right now to make up the hammer. Yeah, so knowing that you'll, you'll approach it differently, like you'll set up either a bed or um, a portal nearby right because you're like okay i know i'm gonna die so we gotta have this dude are you serious i i literally need one wood i mean <laughs> just one of those one of those gaming days i'm punching this wood out of frustration there we go we got some wood out of that <laughs> uh, the valheim gods hate me um so i need a hammer to make the boat and um let's see i like my hammer to be here so all right 10 deer hide 30 f oh i forgot that fine wood times 30. all right let's do it oh this is so tough i could probably make a 30 second tutorial about swamps actually just titled don't go there <laughs> just just don't do that bit of the game it's not worth it it's it's too upsetting we probably had a bit of fine wood actually i should check that probably don't need all 30 of this but there we go oh boy That was like a really savage one as well, actually, because it was literally like if I'd just been able to hit take all in time, I was one click away from just being fine. Like I would, oh, I didn't mean to chop you down, but okay. Yeah, like one click away from just having everything and, and coming home. It's, uh, it's a mental game. This it tries your, uh, your your patience, you know, your mental ability, your mental resolve. <laughs> Because it just uh, it beats up on you a little bit at times. Uh, let's see, let me some more Birch Trees. Here we go. So we're now about to take over, I think, our fifth boat to this area. And we also did one raft. So six vessels have made it to that beach. Zero have returned. And I think two have been destroyed by the, um, the mobs in the area. Yeah, I wondered how much of it was, was just unfortunate luck, hell, to be honest. Um, as opposed to just it's, you know, the way the swamp is. Because obviously the swamp's difficult, but, you know, it's not impossible. Like, it's not meant to be. Um, so yeah, I did wonder that, and uh, that's why if we can just get our stuff and get out of there, I'll, I'll find, like, a different swamp area, I guess, to go for. Alright, we need more fun with than that. Um, here we go. I was so close, I really was. Um, 
but you can see like so this stream now has been coming on for three hours of me grinding out trying to get my stuff back i've probably spent at least that amount again today prior to streaming um doing the same so that that's when the game becomes a bit tedious like six hours grinding just to try and get your things back you know don't really think that's necessary i, I don't think it's necessary that the, the mobs are a stay in there with my stuff and just kind of guarding it and like destroying my portal so i couldn't get back to it in the first place and all that type of stuff like like really does that does that need to happen i think six hours when you're this early in the game of grinding like to get your stuff back is just like you get a bit over it so yeah i don't know I think, um, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I accept that the game is an early release and some of this stuff might change. Yeah, exactly, Killer. That's the thing. I'm like, I'm not even, I don't, I don't think it's even like that big of a help. Like, you grind out getting full bronze and uh, and you die instantly, like you say. So, I mean, is there any point to it, you know? <laughs> my, pla my plan was to skip bronze armor and go straight to iron. Um... And in some, I've seen arguments made as well that actually just using troll armor throughout the game is is better. And, and it was kind of convincing, so I don't even know that that's necessary. All right, 10 deer hide. I don't think we have 10, but I think we have some. Well, we do have some. How much do we have? Where is it? We've got six. All right, let's go kill a deer. Before we do that, let's um, fix this. Yeah, the archers are pretty, uh, they're pretty tough. It's, it's all pretty tough there, to be honest. And you got things like attacking your boat constantly when you're there as well, so like, you got that to deal with, like... Yeah, it's certainly tough. I don't mind games being tough, I just think... Like, t when you lose all your things and then it's... Like I say, I've, it's six hours now and I still don't have them back, so... It could be like seven, eight, nine hours before I have it all back. You know, that's, that's kind of like at that point getting a bit a bit ridiculous. I get it like, you know, a lot of it's just like getting unlucky as well. It's not like it would be the same for everybody. Um, but it's still the fact that that can happen just seems a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. But hey, I'm still here. I'm going to keep trying. Hope we get... Uh, I feel like sooner or later I deserve a little bit of luck the way, after the way that today's gone. Did I spook him? Yeah. I find killing deer in this game actually kind of difficult. When I've got a bow, not so much, but without it. Go on, run into the water. Go have a swim. There we go. Alright, how much did you drop? Four, I'm hoping. One? Really? Oh no, he dropped some more than that. Only two, but still. Every little helps. Uh, you miss me dying a lot, Ian. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, killer. So if you want to place a portal, what you need to do is, yes, place one at your base and name it something. Um, now, whatever you name it, you have to name the other one that you want to teleport to the exact same. So you might bear that in mind, particularly if you want to go to and from a swamp and if you maybe are needing to place the portal very quickly and name it and stuff give it something easy to name and it is case sensitive as well so uh, make sure you get that right um what i would suggest is even just set up um set the one up at your base walk just like a tiny amount set the other one up and just test it first and then once you know it's working use a hammer to destroy it and you'll get all of the materials back and you can then go out and do it that way you know for sure what you're doing in the heat of the moment if it's something you need to do really quickly um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to use like the cheat stuff right now. Uh, I want to play the game legit, mostly because like I've got ulterior motives to it as well. Like, you know, as well as playing the game and wanting to sort of beat it and that sort of thing. I also uh, want to learn about how to do things legit um, so I can make the, the videos on them. See, like, deer seem to spook from really far away, and, like, I can never get close enough to creep up on them. Anybody else find that? Like, look, he's already spooked, so, like, me doing this isn't actually doing anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, no one else seems to have problems in the game killing deer, and, and yeah, I do. Bit, bit of a noob, I know, but, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, I'm obviously missing something. I'm. I uh, thank you there, Alton. I appreciate that. Still pretty early stage, but um, yeah, I, I, I like the design so far. I think um, I got a lot of big ideas for the base in the future that I think are going to look really cool. Um, but we're still got a lot of stuff to do before we're like just focusing on building so um but yeah that'll be good when we get there for sure <laughs> this is so tough oh my god Ugh. this game has got the better of me today it's frustrated me to the point of no return i think yeah they do spook really easily um like you're obviously running to get around the map and then you see a deer and like as soon as you see it it's already seen you and it's bolted away and you're like well yeah I don't know you need deer hide for like a ridiculous amount of things as well I feel like they should make it like where you can farm deer somehow or just slightly easier to get it maybe no not the swamp boss just the swamp man I, I turned up at the swamp earlier today lost all my stuff and I've spent about six hours so far three on stream and about the same off stream trying to get my stuff back and every time i go back there i'm just dying and um yeah it's getting a little bit annoying yeah the moat's really helpful actually against the raids and stuff it's been really useful um and it does funnel them they've got one attack point and that's here so what i actually need to set this up better so i can attack them better when they're here but at least I've got them funneled for now. I had gates and stuff and like a whole structure here. They took that down when I got attacked by trolls. Um, but yeah, so that's um, something I'm going to work on. All right. Trying to get around this guy. All right, I'm not going to get that one as well. Go on, give me a couple deer hide. Yes, okay. At least that bit's done. Um, yeah, not a terrible idea there, Law Master. Actually, I can see how that would work. Um, right, so I've got that. I need the resin now as well. How many resin was it for the boat? Uh, Twenty. Okay. Wasted so many resources on this. Uh, trying to get my stuff back. Okay, so 20 of, of oops, um, 20 of you, 10 deer hide. We're gonna get the bronze nails now. What else does it need? Um, just the nails, alrighty. When do raids start? Uh, I'm trying to think when I got my first one. I think after you defeat the first boss, maybe? I actually know for sure though, um, when they start. I just, I feel like that's when it was. Um, Oh, we need to smelt this down as well. Okay, so we need seven of you. So we've got eight in total, which will be carrying too much, but I'm about to put this stuff away. I really need to move this as well. Okay, so all that's going in there. We put the metal stuff back in here. Um, keep this wood out the way. Keep this wood out the way. And put a load of... Oops. Yeah, put a load of that wood in here. Um, yeah, the, the difficulty I've got, Ian, is... Uh, so my stuff is all in the swamp, which is over here, and it's all in the water here. So we need to kind of pick it up from boats and things, and it's just proven to be really difficult. But I'm just going to give it one last try, and if it doesn't work tomorrow, I'm going to grind out, basically just starting again getting loads of copper back and some more certain cores and stuff so i can go find a different swamp biome somewhere else and then use that swamp biome to make up our um to make a portal there and all that sort of stuff um so i kind of don't want to sleep let's see what else am i gonna need for the fight all i'm taking is a boat with me this time right yeah so oh that was damaged apparently lots of this stuff is damaged because it's outside, basically. So yeah, um, let's see. What do I not need? Basically, um, we'll just put some stuff back if we don't want to take it. Um, all right, I'll take that as a food source. I'll take some honey as well. Um, but I don't need that or that. 
for the logs, all this stuff, but I'll sort that out in a second. Sort my storage out tomorrow as well. You see trolls in the forest, but never close to base. Maybe it's the second boss. I'm trying to think that I get. I feel like I did have a, a raid before the second boss, though. I'm pretty sure I did, but can't be certain, so I don't know. All right, three of that. We need a bit more, right? So that's four of that. We need eight of it in total. That's now five. We've got three in there at the moment. Yeah, okay. Shall I eat some food? Yeah, okay. So it, so it can happen after the first boss. I, was, I, was say, I thought it was the case because I'm sure I did have it there. But I, I know they get more difficult. Like after defeating the second boss was when I got the two trolls that came at me. And um, they, they did a fair bit of damage to my base in general. Um, and then I had another one earlier that had some horrible things like some skeletons and is it draggers or something I think came for me as well. That was not a fun time. Alright, two more. So we just need two more now. And we'll need four of you as well. And then we'll have the bronze nails and then... Yeah, almost there at that point. You feel cold. It says you're getting warmer. This thing should definitely provide heat. That should definitely. Oh, it is a thing. Okay. Day 27 might be one why you're not getting it yet, Altim. You might need to um, be a bit further into the game. All right. One more copper. Make up the nails so we're ready with the boat. Put the stuff back we don't want to take. Have a sleep. And then go. That's the plan, guys. That's how we're going to do it. We had a few before the first boss. I, it's almost like it sort of knows how good your base is. I, I don't think it could. It's, it must be a coincidence. But as I built a better base, I started getting more difficult raids, and I was like, hmm. Um, but that could also just be because I defeated the second boss, and it was just you know coincidence that it hadn't happened until after I'd built the walls or something. But yeah, I've had a couple of bad ones, but um, nothing too crazy, crazy just yet, to be fair. All right, um, my fine wood, where's that gone? Here we go. Um, hold on a sec, let's see. We're going to want like 30 of you. So if I wanted to make a boat right now, I could. That's what we like to see. Put a couple things back, have a sleep. Head off the swamp, hopefully for the final time. Certainly for the final time of the evening. Before... Uh, this this video or this stream I should say goes one way or the other. Oh, now I need wood for the fire. Jesus, all right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Do I have some wood around here? Oh, wait, that's not the wood. The wood textures are like really similar as well. It can be difficult to remember them all. All right. Stoke the fire, have a sleep. See if we can get our stuff back for the first time. Six hours of work could be coming to a frustrating end or a relief. <laughs> Honestly, um, I, I'm not feeling too good about it. I've done, I've tried this so many times, it hasn't worked. But hey, you never know. This could be the one. Sooner or later, I guess it's going to be the one. Although I think it's more likely I'm just going to be restarting tomorrow and doing this all again differently but there we go what's the odds of a sea serpent again <laughs> oh and I don't have a bow this time either I'm literally going with the bare essentials to just try and get across I don't even have anything to fight with so I actually better conserve some stamina in case I need to run away from something because a wolf will probably just kill me on the way that literally happened to me earlier today so sad Still, I hadn't seen a wolf before, so it's cool to see one, I guess. You know. Stay positive, right? Swings and roundabouts, all that stuff. Whew. It's like midnight here for me now as well. It's like, this is just not what you want to be doing at midnight. Like, midnight is so like good for, like, just, like, chilled exploring, right? Or, like, building projects or something like that. 
bit of resource gathering maybe you know you just sort of sat there grinding out when you're tired don't mind a bit of that but this constant back and forth <laughs> and like using all of my bronze on nails for boats that i keep losing that's not a midnight project guys is it i think we all know that are you guys like that like when you're gaming and you're tired you just kind of you want to do different things you know like more just like grindy monotonous sort of stuff when you're tired i think that's uh that's probably not just me right all right go oh for god's sake of course there's a sea serpent oh well literally i don't know what to do then we can't even we can't fight this dude he's not gonna go away Oh, it's just not my day at all. <laughs> uh, what do I do then? Uh, I literally, I can't fight him. I'd have to go make up another bow, some arrows, come back and fight. Oh, can I, can it not just give me that? Just, whoa, hey dude. Like just not having a sea monster here to fight right now. Could I just not get that today in the game? Like, really? Tired game equals space out and grind. Yeah. Look at it. What am I going to do with this? I mean, I'd have to go back, chop down a load of wood, make up the bow, and make a ton of arrows. I, I don't know. Oh, that's, I, I'm going to be here forever trying to kill him that way. Lure him away in double bass. I, but if he's, I think he'll still chase me because we had that before. <sighs> For good sake. I mean, there hasn't been one here all day. And then the last time, twice, we've had two here. I don't think he's going away, is he? He's just circling around. Hmm. Don't think there's be anything around here that can help us. Probably would have explored this all before. But, uh, thought I'd, thought I'd check. Actually, with a hammer, can we just, like, get loads of wood easily? The crafting bench is right here, like... I'll just move it, I guess. You reckon if we run up the coast, we could do that? Kill him with an axe. We can find some stone. Try and make a stone axe, I suppose. Let's, um... Let's... Oh. See, I don't even know if I can move it this way because there's too much stuff around. Alright, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, um, so first... I'm gonna move the crafting bench to here. Right then, we're gonna take down all the stuff. So we get a load of wood out of this. Does it take stamina to destroy stuff? Just sit around here. Move other side, build a workbench, build the ship. Um, I don't know where we can, like, go though, like, to get away from him. He's just gonna. F oh, jeez, that really scared me for some reason. <sighs> Alright, hey, dude. Let's have a fight. Come on, let's have it out. Let's, let's settle our differences. And then let's eat some food so I don't die here just find this. Um, Alright, so we've got a load of wood here. I wonder if this is... Uh, oh, it's too exposed in here. Okay. So actually, that might be a better idea, though. Like, we can just kind of use this here and build around it a bit. Um, so let's see. Let's build... Not, no, no, no. We want to build a bit of wall around here. Right, then we can take that back down. And make it up again, like here. There we go. And then, as far as building goes, like put some more roof over here. <laughs> Such a faff this game sometimes. 
Um, that's the wrong one. Let me try that one. Alright, can I use you now? I can. Let's repair our stuff. Alright. Um, so now we might just need some some stones that we can pick up. <laughs> oh, this is always just be the craziest day. Alright, there's some stones around here, I think, right? We get some stuff out and make an axe, try and kill the serpent with a blooming axe. Maybe if possible, make up a bow. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do that. Do you know what, Ghostina? I don't know why I didn't think of that like 10 hours ago. I absolutely should have done that. Um, Alright, stone axe, yes please. What do we need to make up the um, the bow? Leather scraps. I think there's some boar up the coast. We'll see about that then. I'm thinking we can just make a bow. And just keep shooting it and whatever until it's dead. Was there some boar here? I thought there were some boar here before. There's one. One star boar. Come back. Just die. What? Right now you're dead. How much did you drop in terms of leather? Two scraps. Really? I should have just brought my harpoon here. I could have pulled him up onto the land. I haven't got a harpoon yet, but like, I've got the materials to make one. Um, all right, there's another one of these. Is he dead? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ghostina. You guys have got way more faith in me than I have in myself. <laughs> you really do. After after everything that's happened today, like on the stream and off, I don't know why you guys are uh, so confident, but I love it. Thank you for that support. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I need some blooming boar here now. Here, here we go. There's some up the hill. All right. Come on. Give me a bit of luck with the old leather scraps. Let me get some drops here. Come back, dude. Got a few leather scraps for him. Got three now. Four. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. I'll just, I guess, run back to my base. Try and kill Boar on the way. And if not, then, you know, we just get oh here we go get the stuff from our base i was gonna say hey dude there we go should be five right three more so close yet so far Boar around here some more boar of course there's one of these oh i honestly don't believe there was a seat up in there like even once we get the stuff, this is just basically going to be probably like a long grind to get the bow and arrows. Eventually we'll kill the serpent, then we'll sail across and die in the swamp. Yeah, I don't have a harpoon. Well, yeah, I've got the stuff to make one. I've got the kite in or whatever it's called. Um, I don't know. We're actually probably going to get to our base before we uh, kill any more boar, so looks like that's how we're doing this. Oh, there's an axe attacking me now. <sighs> Today is like the first time I've got frustrated this game. For the most part, it's been a really good game. Um, and whatever, it's just like, yeah, this, this has been, this has been a bad day. A bad Valheim day. Hopefully I'll make up for it by getting lucky with stuff like later on in the game. <laughs> like when you need it more. Alright, so leather scraps, we need three. Um, there we go, three. Just to double check, I'll make the bow up here. Nice crude bow. And what else do we need? Wooden arrows. 
Make those for now. We can make some more when we're up near the thing. Alrighty. Um, should I sleep? That's the next thing. It's gonna be like night time. I'll try and sleep while I'm here. If I can, I just as well. I suppose it will help a little bit. Won't be able to sleep now tonight. If I die again, trying to get my stuff back, I should be in bed, like, feeling uh, really annoyed <laughs> about the way today's gone. Just lying there, like, damn Valheim. Day 128, and I have not yet made it to a swamp safely. Oh boy. Alright, let's try and, let's try and stay positive. <laughs> Anything's possible, right? Never give up. I reckon we could just find a much better swamp location. Um, I think that would that would be uh, that'd be helpful for sure. Um, I'm heading the wrong way. That's not helpful. Where am, where do I need to go here? You'd think I'd know the way by now. I've used all my uh, certain cores on this trip. Uh, you know, these trips, I should say, as well, which is a little bit annoying. I think two of them are lost forever. The other, I think there's maybe two we can get back, potentially. Which I'd take. I mean, it is a pool. <sighs> you know, two two's enough to make a portal, I mean, so. I should actually pick up branches along the way to make up more arrows. To fight the sea serpent when we get there. Okie dokie. He's probably gone away now. After all this, he just like disappear. To be honest, I'd, I'd take that. I'd be happy if he did. <laughs> probably, probably still be better, even though it's been a faff. It's probably still easier than having to fight him now. What have we got? 40 arrows? I wonder if we can kill him in 40 arrows. Let's find out. Uh, he's not gone away, that's for sure. Mobs in this game, like when they're here, they're, they're here. So let's get some uh, stamina back. Stand in the water. And shoot this dude. Hey, Mr. Serpent, I'm in the water. Come on. Come get your, your dinner. Got a fair bit of damage done on him there. He's coming back. Where's he gone? Did he run away now? Is that the bit where he runs away? So we did this last time, but he did come back. Here he is, come on. Come fight like a man. I'm in the water, look. I'm all helpless, come get me. I'm not falling for it, Mr. Serpent. We've scared him off, but he's going to come back. That's the thing. And when he does, he'll kill us. So I think we should probably not go out there, right? I don't know. Someone earlier was saying should go out there because he's, he's dead and he's going to whatever. What do you reckon? I guess we'll just go for it. At this point, like, if I die, I'm like, whatever. It, it doesn't even really matter. I'll be sad, but... Alright, um... Here we go. <laughs> take... What is it? Take seven? Take eight? Something like that. In total for the day. Oh my god, there he is. So we sort of... Lure him back. Have a little swim here. Alrighty. Uh. Oh, where'd he go? Alright, let's just get back onto the coast a second here. Where's he gone? He's right there. 
<laughs> Dude, where did you go? Come on. Like, at least... Like, they're difficult enough to fight. Surely, at least, you know, come and attack me a little bit. Have to swim out to the boat. Try and lure him back in. There's a lot of stuff in this game that just takes a long time to do. I, we could try fighting him from the boat. I'm just worried he's going to destroy the boat. And then we'll like die before we've even started. Hey there, uh, Ares YD. How you going today? Well, I've done a lot of dying today. I've been, uh, I went to a swamp and um, lost all my stuff and then kept going back and not being able to re-get it. So we're doing one last attempt at doing it. If this doesn't work... I will start over tomorrow because uh, I'm not going to have much other choice. Start over in terms of getting like uh, loads more resources and finding a different swamp area and trying to, you know, do things a bit better because, um, yeah, this ain't been going too good, but we'll see. So no idea where the sea serpent is right now. We're just going to head the way we need to head. If we see him, we'll have to fight him from the boat with our arrows. We got him down to... Oh, talk of the devil. What should I do? Fight or run? Actually, right now, we could probably get back to land without too much problem. Bait him in a bit, right? Where's he gone now? I'm just thinking if we head back to the shore here, we can fight him from the shore. If he's near the shore. Yeah, there he is. Alright, so you go that way. Um, don't you want to fight us? Come on, man. And so while that's happening, try and land some shots on it. We are getting some shots landed, but yeah, it's not ideal. Um, right, where's he gone now? Is he running away? It's hard to know if he's like running away for good or if he's circling back. Looks like he might have gone. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I don't think he's got tons of health left. I don't don't see him right now. But yeah, I don't think he had much health left at that point. I think we actually got him hit pretty good. So we can just probably fight him out here. There he is. Okay, and then we'll just paddle away until he gets comes back to us. Imagine how scary this would be. <laughs> Giant sea monster there. You're like, oh yeah, just paddle away from land, you know. Wait for him to come back near me, and then I'll uh, then I'll shoot the, the bugger. All right, here we go. Come on, dude. Keep an eye on him. My boat's still heading in the right direction. We keep an eye on him a little bit. Just paddle every now and again. <sighs> you was at my stream yesterday, uh, but you're a new subscriber, so I don't really know uh, how to do in the channel. Like, oh, so like, depending on, um, sorry, I thought this one. Yeah, like, uh, if I'm on Twitch, I have different commands and stuff to hear. Um, but yeah, in terms of like Razor Quest and stuff, it's just I'm I am part of uh, Team Razor, so anytime I stream and stuff. I, I do the whole Razor streamer thing and whatever. Um, what your is not finishing? Yeah, true. I've only got 18 left as well, actually. I, I don't know if he's gone off for good or if he's going to come back. But if he kills us, he kills us. It's all part of this trip. They do make the uh, the Serpent challenging. Yeah, especially early game like this, you know, like where we're at. Um... And if the harpoon thing doesn't work unless there's two or more of you, then I don't know what I'm going to do long term in terms of fighting this dude, but something else to figure out. Yeah, I, I'm just, um, I've been trying to think of little 
ways around certain things in the game that I've been struggling with. One of them is definitely about fighting the sea serpent solo, you know. Um, the other one is like all the stuff of the swamp that we've had today with like the difficulties, um, getting our stuff back and that sort of thing. So um, if I come up with anything, I'll, I'll be sure to make videos about it and, and let you guys know. But uh, for now, <laughs> it's just um, they're just part of the game's challenges, I suppose. I don't blame you, killer. I really don't. I, I feel your pain. Believe me. And again, I think we, we always need to remember with this sort of thing, though, it is still an early release game. So, you know, they, they, this is early release means they're sort of testing it on mass for the first time. And, you know, these sorts of things might come up and then they'll potentially make, you know, workarounds to it or edit the game in the future. So, you know, uh, and credit where credit's due, it's a fantastic game. So I know I'm, I've been moaning a little bit in the stream. It, it is just frustrating, you know. Any game is frustrating when you're dying over and over again, right? And you're just trying to get your stuff back and whatever. So that's just that. But um, overall, I still give this game a 10 out of 10 for sure. You like calm streams like this because of streams like a thousand people watching. Chat's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's one of the nicer things. Um, you know, obviously, as a content creator, you want your channels to grow and that sort of thing. But I do like the fact that like when you watch a big stream and their chat's just like this the whole time. It's like they, they can't really interact with anybody and, and have a bit of a conversation and stuff. I like that I get to hang out with you guys and stuff. Um, and you guys actually suggest like tons of really good ideas as well. Some of which I'll be using in future videos and just expanding my knowledge of the game and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's good. We all learn from each other a little bit, hang out. It's good fun. Hello there, Simophic. I guess that's how I say it, Simophic. Is that right? Anyway, hello. <laughs> Welcome along to the stream. Um, oops. Let me just get up. Um, paddle away, sir. It keeps drifting to the right. The wind's blown the other direction. So it keeps drifting to the left. The wind's actually blown to the right. All right, we're nearing the swamp. It's just up there by that land. So the like, what's it? The third moment of truth of this stream is coming. It's our third attempt at this stream, or fourth maybe to try and get stuff. It's been a little while. Now, this might seem slow, but it's not as bad as the attempt we did with the raft, guys. This feels like I'm zooming along compared to that. I do, yes. In fact, uh, so I've been doing my YouTube channel for about four years, and 99% um, of my content was Minecraft. I was wanting to try new games out this year, and Valheim was the first new one I tried out. And my channel has never done better. It's been the most successful week in my channel's history. So uh, I'm, I'm really pleased about that. You know, I wanted to try and make a move this year from being seen as a Minecraft YouTuber to just being seen as more of like a gaming content creator in general. Um, and this is a huge step in that direction for me. So that's awesome. And hopefully throughout the year, I'll try out some other new games as well, um, as well as continuing the Valheim content. Yeah, Ian, so if you're against the wind, paddling is a preferable option. Putting your sail up at this point will actually slow you down. So you do need to constantly be aware of the wind direction. Here we go, guys. We're, we're back at the place that I'm referring to as the boat graveyard. Um, just like two boats still remain in this graveyard, so they must have sunk about two or three of the others. All right, the graves are there in the water. We're going to try... To recover our stuff. Wish me luck. Wish me a lot of luck. Because I'm um, going to need it. So I'm going to turn the paddle in off. So we're really drifting in slowly here. I currently am not seeing anything. This, we need a paddle now. So paddle's just one W. Oh no, have I got my boat stuck? Come on, man. Try and push it out of the way, maybe. Come on. Come on, just let me get out of here, please. Just give me that. Is it really stuck there? When it's not your day, huh? When your luck's out, I swear. I thought this was looking good as well, because I was like, oh, no, don't do that. I was like, I can't see anything in here. 
Nah, you're all good, Aris, man. That's that's so good. I wish you all the best with your channel. Um, are you, are you making uh, Valheim content yourself? Come on. Why is it not letting me get to it? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's really weird. Oh, dang. I almost had it. All right. Let me try this one. It's really not going to let me do this. Like, if you could just get that from a bit closer, it'd be nice. Oh, it's going dark. <sighs> Skeletons are coming. Yeah, hey dudes. Oh, come on. Okay. Alright, let's try and get really close to this. Turn that off. Come on, man, please let me get my stuff. Alright. This is good. We just got a lot of stuff. We didn't get the certain cores, though, which I'd really like. Um, we got some armor on. Okay, let's um, get back on this boat. Okay, what have we got here? Alright, actually, you know what we can do as well? Um, yeah, just do that for a second. Alright, sorry chat, I'm going to be ignoring you for a little bit because I'm just trying to get like... My inventory's cleared up a little bit here. So like, what I want to do is throw some stuff overboard. If I don't need it, let's throw it. Oh dang, I didn't mean to throw those, don't worry. Um, just because it's it's going to get in the way in a second when I'm trying to like, do stuff. Don't need two shields. Alright, let's get back on here. Um, oh boy, this is... Uh, you guys like might think I'm taking this too seriously, but I've seriously just struggled so much today with this. If I can get just this one grave point back and we can get out of here, I'll just be so pleased. You have no idea. All right, what we need to do is slow it down. Get off. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Certainly cause. You know what? I'm going to take that. I don't care about the rest of that stuff. I just want to get out of here now. All right, please. Please, God, let me get home with this stuff. Oh, it's a blooming skeleton now. All right, the wind's behind us. Let's go. Come on. It's not really behind us, behind us, but it's behind us enough. <sighs> oh, my God, please, please, please. No exaggeration, guys. You don't know how much this will mean to me if I can just get the stuff away. The certain cores, all my bronze stuff. What is that in the water now? Alright guys, we're heading home. But, I will say, we, we still need to make it to mainland before we're safe. Right, let's get our main bow equipped here. Um, wooden arrows are all we got, that's okay. I'd, I'm not so. Oh my god. I said the stream disconnected briefly. Um, did, did my stream just disconnect? Are we, are we good? I don't know what just happened there. I think, I think we're good. Um, apologies if that just disconnected. <sighs> right, we've got a decent bow. If that sea serpent's still there, it's got to be a low on health, right? It glitched, but we'll get a bit of lag. Alright, lag and stuff is fine. Oh my god. What are, what are we on? We must be on about three and a half hours, though, now, of streaming. Just getting our stuff back here. So this is, this is the culmination. The wind's behind us as we head home. That's fantastic. If I could have it behind me one way, it would be the way home. Because got more stuff on you at that point, obviously, right? So I'll take that. 
Oh boy. I'm gonna catch up on chat properly if I can just get back to land, by the way. I just I'm just trying to put everything into getting back right now. Because losing it now would be really sad. Um, after everything we've been through today. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you know what, Sendia? Um, I actually didn't know that. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. That's a useful tip. Um, I've, I should have thought, because I knew you could do that with food, so it makes sense you could do it with armor as well. But thank you so much for that. I do appreciate that. Um, uh, Ares, the chat's like that because I normally do it on Twitch, so it's just set up like that. And I guess it's done the same for YouTube, but you're right, it doesn't need to be on our YouTube. Max says, should I buy this game? In my opinion, yes. It's great value for money. It's a fantastic game, and I love it. But, um, you know, watch some videos on it, have a little read up about it and stuff, because obviously everybody likes different things, but my personal opinion is it's a great game. Um, it is certainly nice when you get this invested in a game, yeah, I, 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 lo I love this game so much. Um, I, I feel like I missed a lot of chat, guys, if I, if I missed anything and you said in chat, it was only because I was distracted with trying to get all my stuff back. Um, it's just been one heck of a day with losing stuff, so I really wanted to do that. But um, just chuck stuff in chat again. I'll try and like you know keep a keep an eye on that. But um, we're so close. Please let me get this last little bit. Good luck against Cesar. <laughs> um, oh my God, there he is. Okay. Um, yeah, don't you dare, man. Just just go away. You know what? We might better make it back. In fact, we are pretty much back. You know, I know I'm probably about to crash this boat. I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Um, all right, now we run. And what can we equip here? So I want to get you equipped. Wait, is it, did that work? Yes, it did. Okay. And what's going to do damage here? I guess you. Um, wait, that one, whatever. <sighs> right, now we just got to get home. We should try and outrun these things for a minute. Um, if we can get home, just sleep and get it back to daytime, that'd be nice. Right. This stuff here is still chasing us. Just kill that and run. Oh my god, alrighty. Actually got some stuff back. Pretty, pretty, pretty happy about this. Even if we die now, we're on land. I'll be able to get my stuff back easily. So, <laughs> all right, I can actually allow myself to be happy about this now. Oh, I was so, I was so worried about that. And then the sea serpent even did show up there at the end, just to keep us on our toes right at the end. Oh boy. All right, let's see what's chat been saying. What's that in my number five slot? That's a black shield. Um, when you make up a wooden shield, you can choose different styles for the wooden shield. And I just went for a black one for that one. Um, what else are we looking at here? Um, you've been hooked since you bought the game. Very good. Helps you relax. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a game you can like immerse yourself in, I would say, for sure. Um, when did you have your peak of subs? Um, well, my channel's growing all the time. So like each day it has a few more subs than the previous day. So um, yeah, uh, I think I'm approaching 30,000 right now. I was before I started the stream. I was on about 29.7. So that's pretty cool. Um, really, really hoping I can hit 50k this year. That would be awesome. Um, and then hopefully 100k in the next couple of years would be super sick. I would love to have that little plaque thing that YouTube gives you for 100k subs. That would just be like ultimate life goal right there. Whoa, okay, they hurt more than I was thinking. Anyway, I'll take, actually, we don't even want the stuff. I just want to get out of here. Um, yeah, so so I'm growing luck all the time. Um, what was killing you in the swamp in the first place? I think it was the um, draggers, is it? They're, and then maybe the skeleton archers and stuff. There was just a lot of mobs in one space as well, which was like pretty, yeah, pretty tough. Yeah, I haven't done any co-op yet. I've just done solo, but um, I think co-op definitely looks fun. And I would definitely consider doing a server in future. Potentially even like if we get like a few content creators who are, um, you know, doing it full-time like myself or a similar size channels and stuff. Could be really fun, I think. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see about that. It's like still early days for that sort of thing. Uh, my wife and I have been enjoying playing over the weekend so far. But really, only scratch. Yeah, that's one thing about this game. I keep thinking I've got it like kind of figured out, and then I go, "Oh no, there's actually tons of stuff I didn't even know." So that's pretty good. Uh, I do really, yes, yeah. Um, I do do that sometimes. I don't. I, I've just. I don't know. I think I'm just in the habit of opening up my map. But yeah, thank you for that. But yeah, I did know that one. Um, okay. Can't believe I actually got our stuff back. All right. Well, before I take on any more swamps and things, I'm going to need to go through some serious setup and serious changes and stuff like that. So I'm going to very happily log out there. I, I actually honestly can't believe we got our stuff back. I really didn't think that was going to uh, going to happen. So um, I'm super happy with that. Um, that's going to be where I'm going to leave the stream today, guys. I uh, really appreciate all of you for uh, for being here today. And uh, I'm so glad we actually finally got there. Thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks for all the tips and stuff as well. And um, I'll probably like uh, include some of those in future videos as well. So thank you very much for that. Um, and hopefully we can keep you know streaming together and doing these videos and stuff and uh, building up a bit of a thing around here. So uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. Yes, killer, I did get my stuff back. I'm so so pleased. Well, like most of it, not all of it, but hey, enough. I'm definitely like really happy with how that ended. Um, so yeah, um, thanks very much, guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one.